Welcome back. Episode 383, Nitty Gritty Sports Talk Radio Show. I go by the name of Roscoe English, and of course, I'm here with the plot. Got my guy Keys with me. What's going on? How you feeling out there? My man, Nick. Salute, Sco. Salute, everybody. What's up? And of course, last but not least, Keith PJ. Sco, what's up? What's going on, y'all? How y'all feeling? Welcome back, Keys. Welcome back. Yes, yeah, sir. it feels good to be back because your your outline just takes Sco. I heard about you, Sco. What you've been saying? Yo, the fake news from Dolph Free must stop. It has. Why it's fake? Stuff. It's not fake news, though. It it's is. really not fake. Though. It's it not is. fake news. Like, I came on here. I think it was last show and and said my piece, and I said the game that y'all you was going to bring up. Like I said it. You no, lied. I said it. No, I said it. I said yo. I said he had a good game against the Bengals. The niggas told me that he only scored sixteen points. I said, all right. I received that. Keep keep hitting me like, yo, you said he was good. The Bengals game. All right, I admitted to that. I said that. You said, you said more, more than, than that. that. You said more than that over the last couple of years, though. You you and, definitely said more than that. And, and <laughs> I said he was my guy, and then he wasn't. But I came in here, yo. Yeah, it took you ten weeks, him. nigga. It did not take me ten weeks. It took me one week. Two, two years. One two week. years. It took me one long, week. Bro. Two, two it years. It took me one week into long, year two. <laughs> It took me one week in the year two to say, yo, he's not it. That's it. <laughs> it's crazy because I wanted my rookie to improve year two. Blame me, but it didn't happen. And I didn't stay on that train long, pause. But we told you he wasn't going to improve. Like that was a done. That was he was he, he sucked. Like he, he sucked and in college. Actually, and it's not my fault that the guy that I really wanted just ha- happened to be worse than him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, can't forget that. Hey, the guy that I wanted. Week. Yeah, yeah, like you can't, I you can't you trust it. Let me forget takes. that read. Yeah, oh, he I'm got more great, coming. So. I'm sure he got. Now, more I'm like John Elway. Sierra tweeting this nigga. He, he charged nah, up. Nah, Here we go. Show with the quarterback. Yo, it's crazy because my background was going to be them two dressed up as Janet and Buster, but I couldn't fit it in the fucking ring. <laughs> but it was going to be them two. It was going to be them two. You don't even want Russell, man. Like you don't I even did. like Russell quarterback as did your you guy. Hear, you don't. You don't even. Did you hear that take? Did you hear that take? Well, I'm talking about before. Tape? I'm talking about before, like a cut, like. But did you hear that tape? Ago. But did what? you? Like, it's been years. Last it's been years. Yeah. Did, I said I don't like Russ, but he's better than Kenny. I'm not I mean, moving that's, off that's, that. That's. I mean, that's right. You're not saying a lot, right? You're not saying, you're not saying nothing like nobody. That nobody. It's not saying nothing. a lot, right? Yeah. It like. That's all I got. But for you me. did not want Russ. Like you was totally against the Russ uh, move, probably like last nah, two years ago, like last season before you went to the Broncos. You was against it. You hate it. I don't. But you know what's different now. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. Keith, you know what we usually start with. <laughs> Our season's on the clock. Our future's on the clock. Our legacy is on the clock. NFL draft, Detroit Lions, Chicago Las Vegas Steelers. Yeah! yeah! That's the one! That's the pick! Yeah! Now on the clock for this week is Xavier Leggett, wide receiver. South Carolina, 6'3", 227 pounds. As you can see right here, when he gets the ball, boy can run. Runs a 4'3". Reliable receiver, ability to make difficult catches in traffic. Excellent ex- uh, acceleration after catch, as you just seen. Um, He kind of has a Debo build. He kind of has a Debo build, which is why – he would be perfect for us in the slot. He can play in the outside and the inside. He would be perfect for us in the slot. We haven't had a real legit slot receiver since Juju. And um, with this size, this speed, he can really do damage in, in our division, especially now. We have a quarterback now that's pretty accurate. Um, we'll talk about that later. But it's uh, vertical routes he excels in. <laughs> I mean, all right, oh, let's man. stop this. Let me stop this right now. <laughs> Is Russell Wilson not more accurate than Kenneth Pickett? Yeah, I want everybody he, in the blocks to answer. Like he's a, like a, I want, he's I want everybody in the blocks to answer because y'all act like I said something blasphemous. Is he not a You called him very accurate. accurate. You called huh? him very accurate, right? Yeah. Yeah, but you Russell's didn't say not very accurate. accurate compared to Kenny. You said he's very accurate compared to the field. And it's like, eh, he cool. But okay, we on your wide receiver, bro. I don't want yeah, yeah, yeah. I exactly. Exactly. It's it's cool. It's cool. I love it. I love it. Um weaknesses. He had one breakout year. Um, so what uh, year is he? He's senior. 
It's huge. Yeah, he is. Um, I, I have seen him play. Is, I did see South Carolina play a couple times. Yeah, he was definitely. Yeah, um, he popped off. Yeah, the he's a senior. He yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a senior, but he had one big year of production. Mm. But I don't really care when you look at the when you look at the film. You look at the tape. Look at that high point in the ball. He's physical. He'll mm-hmm. fit. He looks like a Steeler. He looks like a Steeler. He looks like AFC North. He looks he like AFC North. wherever he go, it look like. Yeah, yeah, wherever he go, it don't matter who get him. But you, <laughs> late rounds, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, third round. You know, that's when we steal our our Pro Bowlers right there. That's what we eat at. And if I'm him, if I'm him, I would want to come to a team like Pittsburgh with a coach like Tomlin, who has an eye for receivers. You don't want to be anywhere else but Pittsburgh, especially now. Especially now, you ain't got to worry about Kenny Pickett throwing you the ball. Especially now, you might get some more talking. <laughs> He's funny, sir. And see, the thing is, I'm funny, and I know it. I know it. But am I lying about that, though? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> anybody, anybody can answer. Anybody can answer. Yo, anybody the bar the is so low, answer. bro. Like you're not saying nothing. The bar is low. But again, <laughs> uh, but you're jumping over a brim, nigga. Here's the thing, though. I'm looking at 25 touchdowns. And I'm looking at the dude who threw six. So, yes, the bar is low. It is. If you had a quarterback that threw for six touchdowns last year, come on, yo. Like, we got to stop this. And and I can, yo, we were in quarterback hell. Hell. Hell, I tell you. Not even purgatory. We weren't even in the middle. Quarterback. But Russell hell. not really moving the needle for y'all, I feel like. like I mean, y'all, y'all, not beat, y'all still not beating Buffalo. Like, Russell Wilson's not going to go win that game. Like you know, Buffalo, that, y'all still y'all still, still, still last year. So y'all still he beat Buffalo last year. He beat Buffalo last what? year. He beat Buffalo last year. Yeah, but I mean that's the regular. We talking about the playoffs. He's still not going in Buffalo with his, that's, and beating him in the playoffs. It's not going to happen. Not Mason happen. went in the fourth quarter with a seven point deficit. M- but remember, you said that don't matter. They, they not close games though. Give one point, what, one seven four, point? fourth quarter, not close games. Yo, y'all act like everything is black and white. Y'all watch that game. It was no way Jake Browning was beating us. And that's the crazy thing about it. Yeah, it was it was it was a close game by the numbers that y'all tell. And here's another thing about these narratives. I and can't another miss that guy and another freaking thing cuz I'm on YouTube. I got to watch myself. Here's another freaking thing. I can't be stat guy and be a Kenny guy. You down below me, you can't call me stat guy and say I'm a Kenny guy. He wasn't any guy. Yeah, he wasn't any guy. Let's say the two things. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't like, that, not like, have you seen them boxes? Have you seen those? What have you seen those box scores? The he guy said, was my I, guy. I know, but he I was, know what he does. I saw him play. Like, right. I know what he was at. We the ones right. that were trying to tell you he sucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, ain't no news to us, buddy. I need I need to see the box. Scores. That's the thing about Skinny. You don't even need to be a sky guy for Kenny. You can just look at the tape and realize he don't know how to roll out the pocket. He sucks. We're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that, but that's my own clock. What's Xavier Leggett. Xavier what? Leggett. Yeah, I uh really hope we get him. That's a that's what he a day two guy still. I hope. <laughs> I hope he slides as far as possible. Paul. Do you envision him on the outside or in the slot? Like how do you slot. how how right fast now? Are you running? And four three. He's a four three? Four three. Four three. At 227? So what's that wrong with him? He ran at the combine 4-3. Ran at the combine 4-3. How's he a day? He was wrong. I told you. He got got off the field. He got 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 to have some character issues. He must got some. We can find him. We can find him. That ain't nothing. Yo, that's nothing. We can find him. You about to learn me to talk to you. We can find him. Yo, that's nothing. They caught him with a gas mask, man. Something going on. 4-3, 6-3. Yo, it's 2024, yo. It's anything. He said the F word. I get you. He's a problem child, but Tom Lee can handle those problem childs. Yeah, you know I mean, that's nothing. That's nothing. Keys, who you got on the clock? Uh, I got another CB. I got uh, Jerry and Jones, FSU. Okay. Um, I'm just going to. I think I'm me. I just think this is the Ravens' top. Me, I think cornerback. You know, you don't want to see. Uh, we like I said, we saw the playoff game where you know you got bum stick. You know, playing in the fourth quarter. You know, not not be able to defend. Um, you don't want to see that, and you know to say what, what? Who knows what's happened with Marlon? Whatever they keep him, they cut him, whatever. Um, but you just you need talent at a position, and I think um, you know he has the size, he has the skill, he's a senior. 
I mean, he's seen a lot of football, a whole lot of football or whatever. And he's one of them players, once again, where they didn't throw at him. Um, not a lot of stats because he, he they they threw away from him. Um, he's fast. He's physical. Um, they, they got him projected as a day two guy. But, you know, this is a, this is a cornerback deep draft. Um, so he could slide. He could slide up, like I said. But if you get if you can steal him with your in the, with your uh, late first round, early second round pick, that's a steal. Because um, I do think he has um, first round talent. Like he he is that. Um, like I said, typical six six feet. You know, 180 pound cornerback. That's the that's that's your typical size for a cornerback now in the NFL. Um, so I and like I said, he makes plays. The plays that he did, you know, when they did throw at him, the plays um, he made him. Like I said, he's a great tackler. I think that's his best attribute. He he could tackle. Um, and you know, you, you know, I think as, as Ravens fans, we love the DBs when they come and can make a hit, make plays in the backfield. Um, so yeah, I, I think the Ra- like I said, I think this is the Ravens' biggest need is cornerback going into the draft. So as many prospects as they can see, as many prospects as they can bring in. Um, but like I said, he's a big, he's, he's a big, long, uh, you know, physical cornerback, and that, that's what the Ravens need opposite Brandon Stevens. Because like I said, who knows what's going to happen to Marlon Harvey? But I, like I said, he's a day two guy. Um, I don't, I don't, he's not he's not i think his you know like i said his best attribute is is, is tackling i think you know his, his biggest weakness is his speed he's not that fast. he's not a, a fast guy um but like i said i think he make up with it like i said with instincts and like he's a four-year player a four-year starter so he's seen a lot of football and i think that matters when you you know at that position cornerback you know this, the, the more plays you see it the, the better you're going to be at that position um but yeah that's that, that's Do you envision him inside or outside um i think preferably yeah, I, I mean, I think because because he's so physical, he can be on the outside. But I think probably, you know, as you know, rookie cornerbacks coming in the league, they probably need to be on the inside. Like you, they they knock on. You got developed to an outside cornerback. I feel like unless you saw us garden us, unless you you just that guy. Um, I, I don't, I don't think he, yeah, I mean, he's he yeah. definitely he's definitely physical. He's he's a big body. He's a big body uh, cornerback. Like he, he can cover all positions. He can cover all over. He can, you know, you know the Ravens, you know they like to bring them cornerbacks in and play linebacker, play Mike. You know he he can do all of that. Um, yeah. So I, I I like him. Like he he makes a lot of plays. Like he he sees the ball. He's always running the ball. Like I said, the, the, his his biggest thing is probably his speed. But you know, they, I feel like you he, the other his other intangibles can make up for that. But like I said, he's a day two guy. So I mean, the Ravens, you know, might trade up and get him. You know, if he falls to them, we'll see. But like I said, I think this this draft is very deep in cornerback. So he should be there um, if that's what they that's what they decide to take. Yeah, I like this physicality when I was pulling the tape. Um, looked like somebody would play with the Raven high IQ. Um, and like like you said, the fact you play four years starting at FSU, um, just to have that sort to have that many snaps under your belt, um, mm-hmm. it can only pay dividends once you get to the league. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely gonna need somebody to to stick with Russell Wilson and and George Pickens and and those guys, the high flyers. Got damn right, you got damn right, because they couldn't do it with Kenny throwing it. So shit. <laughs> I'll give you that one thing though. Russell throws a mean moon ball. Like still that's one there. thing he can do is th- it's throw still deep. there. And one thing Pickens can do is go deep. And guess who's play action heavy? And one thing about it, we ain't never had no problems with Russ. So I ain't worried about it, honestly. Nah, all right. You ain't had no problems with him on the West. He over here now. He was better than those scope. He was way better. Huh? He was ten times better than he is now. Like he's hey, old now. What, he's old. What, he's old now. Ravens ain't that's never what, had problems with Russell Wilson. He's old now, man. Guess what? Guess what? When you put them colors on, them oh problems, God, he gonna be know, really now. Now, hey, hey, now hey, the Steelers hey, give you superpowers. Give you superpowers. Hey, guess what? Go. He's gonna be. He's gonna be really. Go picking him to win the Super Bowl. Really Go picking him to win the Super Bowl. Mr. Unlimited. Dangerous. Unlimited. We're going to see, Scott. We're going to see. We got something for him, but we'll talk about it. Hey, yo, you got to stop saying. Yo, pull the tape every time Nick done told me y'all got something for us. You Since know how like pulling you know, tape but, so much. Go. Like, all, all I'm saying <laughs> is. Tape every time he done said that. All and I'm then, saying is, you know, you know how y'all. You know how y'all. You know how them Steelers feel about black QBs. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's, it's going to work out. You know. Well, he's he, a little he, ambiguous. He, he go. He going a three four game losing streak. It might get ugly up there. Depending you know, on the hairstyle, he, he can switch up the hairstyle. <laughs> if I get, if I get, if I get ugly, he might have a he might have a comb over in the press. Oh, oh what? Hey, yo, chill. Oh, I can what? Already hit. That that five hundred level gonna be calling them all types of words. They're a little bit more you, classy down nasty. in the one hundred. It's gonna get nasty. It's gonna get nasty. They're a little classy in the one hundreds, but up top they're gonna be calling them all types of stuff. Winning cures racism. <laughs> <laughs> What you want me to say? 
Very true. Very true. Very true. Let Lamar let Lamar <laughs> lose three games. Let Lamar lose three games. Let Lamar want to sign a contract. See? And then he signed and they and they forgot. They forgot what they were saying about him. Hey, Amen. The playoff game against the Chargers, his rookie year, what you think they was calling him? A child of God? Man, Nick, who you got on the clock? <laughs> oh man, wow. I got Michigan corner uh Mike Sanger still. Oh, he, and yeah, um, I like him. Yeah, Haitian kid, 5'10, 182. Um you know, with the Michigan ties, Jim Harbaugh ties, we probably are uh, really familiar with him. And he might be one of those guys that we just might have on our radar just because. Um, one thing that's opposite of the corner that uh, Keys kind of mentioned is, you know, the size. You know, he's not the biggest guy in the world. He's 5'9", 185. Um, but he plays bigger. You know, he, And as you notice, everything primarily is coming inside in the slot as a nickelback. I think that's where he would project in the NFL. Um And then you look at it, you know, Marlon, sooner or later, we're going to need a replacement uh, for Marlon and the contingency plan for Marlon. And he primarily uh, plays in the inside, even though, you know, he's flexible, can play outside as well. But if we can get this cat or someone like him to kind of slot in to that future um, cornerback, uh, slot cornerback role, um, that'd be very impressive. I mean, one of the things I like most about him is his instincts. Um, you know, he reads well, diagnoses well, and then he just makes plays on the football, um, getting in position to make plays. Um, obviously, he outplays his size. Uh, you know, he's very physical for his size. He doesn't shy away from contact, doesn't shy away from coming in and making a tackle. And again, that's, those are things that we identify as playing like a Raven, you know, being able to do everything on the football field um, and be versatile. You know, and that's one thing about already coming from Michigan. We kind of already have that Michigan defensive identity here with Mike McDonald setting it up before he left. And, you know, we play similarly as far as trying to disguise coverages, disguise schemes and 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 kind of be um, in a situation where the, the offense can't read us pre snap. So he already he already has experience in that, you know, showing zone, playing man, vice versa you know, showing that uh, he's going to drop back in coverage, but coming in for a blitz. I mean, all those things are, um, are traits of a smart football player, traits of a football a football player with high IQ. And those are the things that we like to identify as Ravens. You know, um, every other week it seemed like he was, he was making big plays for Michigan. And obviously we saw them, you know, obviously win a national championship. So he was doing it on the biggest stage, you know, very instinctive player. Uh, quick feet, you know, which will be able to mirror NFL receivers, uh, explosive back pedal, be able to change your direction ability. I guess the one thing uh, that you could, you know, look at as a negative is obviously his size. It's something he can't handle, but it's also something that he can't change or improve either. And then also, you know, uh, he's he's physical and he doesn't shy away from contact. But his his technique in tackling could be could be much improved. Um, and that, and those are things that, you know, you get with the coaches and work on, but, you know, um, in the NFL players are bigger, they're stronger, they're faster. The way you tackle, given that you're that size is going to be important and it's going to have to, to be spruced up a little bit, but those are minor critiques. Um, I think he's one of the highest rising players coming out of the combine and senior bowls, not senior bowl, coming out the combine and, um, coming off the end of the season. So, uh, the way I look at it. If he's not available um, round one, which I think in, at 30, there's a chance he might be available, but you never know with uh, NFL teams. When you see somebody you like, you saw it with Detroit, you know, they, they saw Jameer Gibbs and they didn't care about the big board. They just went and got somebody they liked. Um, but it's somebody that we potentially could maybe, if we wanted to trade back out of the first round, nab him with the early second round pick. Uh, but he's, he's somebody that could definitely, uh, be a, a a benefit to the Ravens. And I agree with Keys. You know, I think we have to leave with a high level cornerback at some point in this draft. Yeah. I mean, just to piggyback on what you were saying, you you said every other week he was make he made plays every week. Like, you know, we we Michigan was on TV a lot this year. Um we we watched a lot of Michigan football. I mean granted they they end up winning national championship. But and we, we a lot of them people consider them like was the number one defense, top five defense, top three defense. He was the best player on that defense. So, like, he literally stood out every single week. He was always running the ball. 
I mean, because he can blitz, he can play coverage, you know, he can tack, he can do everything on the football field. They say it's only weakness his size, but like I said, he make up make up for that in any other way possible. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't, I think that you know, as when you follow the college awards, I think he should have been a Jim Thorpe finalist. Um, you know, that's all about politics with that, with them, with you know, with the awards. But I think he should have been a Jim Thorpe finalist because he made plays every single week, and I feel like, like I said, he was the best player on that Michigan defense. Every week I watched Michigan, Mike was making a play. He made a play every single week. And it was most of the time it was game changing plays. Yeah, you so were yeah, talking I, about the first. No, mm-hmm. my bad. no, no. I was about to say I, I, I don't see, but I don't. I see that he, he could potentially be a first round draft pick. I see that. Yeah. No, nah, I'm about to say you're talking about the first team All American. Um, came to Michigan as a wide receiver and made that transition to cornerback a couple years ago. So I think that's part of why he got that nose for the football. Um, having had that experience on both sides of the ball. Um, so looking at his tape, man, I, I like him. He's explosive, physical. Um, and that's kind of what we're going to need if we ultimately replace Marlon on the opposite side of Stevens. Yeah, good player. He definitely a good player. He's going he gonna to make a difference day one. <laughs> Put him in front of Joy. <laughs> I, I want you to. We, we got Brandon. For, we got Brandon for the big. George don't play the. George don't. You, y'all don't line George on the slide. So no matter. George is no, always. Put him outside. outside. Put him outside. <laughs> I try no. You're not trying no Brian one corner to play inside. Stop it. Put, I mean, or <laughs> you, you do. You do if you have other pieces around. You might. You we might. got safeties. We got safeties. Don't worry about us. Who? I'm always working. St- fam. fam. Stop. Listen. Stop. Don't talk to us about corners, okay? Because y'all Stop. need some help there. Y'all need milk there. I'm surprised. You, you, that's corner? that's where. Yeah, yeah. Y'all quarterbacks are trash. Yeah. Y'all, y'all got no one corner. Y'all got one corner. Oh, literally, we have one that likes the hole. That likes the hole. <laughs> it works, right? It works, right? Barely. What, what did it lead you to? Barely. Fucking what? What did it lead you to? What? What did it lead Nobody you to? His side. That's what it led to. Just throw over there. Don't even look over here. <laughs> and he was like, "All right, bet." <laughs> Didn't. Yeah, because we gave up what thirteen points a game, sixteen points a game. Yeah, you led to that. It helps. And, and where did? Yo, if y'all won, I swear it would be fucking Lombardi's behind y'all right now. But it ain't. he's in Hollywood, and talk. I see y'all lovely rooms. I see y'all lovely room. <laughs> I didn't see y'all go to a parade. I want Keith to take that hat off. It's baseball why, season. Why the guy? Why, it's baseball right, season. I got, I'm, bring out, I'm gonna bring out. The, I'm gonna bring out the Oreos game for you, Scott. Take I got your hat you. off. You got, got the you wrong shirt on. Like, what are we talking about? Like y'all be talking like juggernauts. Keith, who you got on the clock? <laughs> It's funny. We all got cornerbacks. I mean, this guy got rusting now. Yeah, I'm about to say. He, he geeking today. Um, and I, I talk like this with Kenny Pickett. <laughs> clearly that's why the Raiders need. The Raiders definitely need a cornerback. The Raiders definitely need a cornerback. I went with Ennis Ray Straw Jr., though. Cornerback out of Missouri. Um, put up the tee. Um, I like him. Uh, physical, man. That's that's the first thing that jump off the screen about this kid with me. Um. His physicality. He played like somebody who would be in the AFC North. Um, he's a smart off coverage cornerback. Like I say, physicality, look at him. Just look at him, nose for the football. Um, but he's got a high IQ pre-snap. Uh, played a lot of zone coverage in uh, college. A lot of cover three, a lot of quarters, a lot of underneath zones. Uh, played it beautifully. Um, didn't play as much bump and run, but he has the ability to get up there and press. Um, he just violent, though. And that's what we need in the AFC North. That's what we need right now with the with the core wide receivers that we got in the AFC North. Uh, does an excellent job breaking quickly on the football. You've seen that evident in the first couple highlights. Um, well timed challenges to knock the ball free. Uh, some of his weaknesses, though, he can be a bit handsy. Which I mean, you get into the league, you know they call calling holdings, five yard penalties all day. Uh, that can be a problem sometime. But just that knack for the football, the ability to break it apart, um, is what I like about him. Um, one of the question marks that will be about him, he only had one interception in college. Um, but he, like I say, he, he'll get up in that box. He'll 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 defend the run game. Um, and so a lot of times in college, you might not have them interception numbers because people really not throwing at you like we've alluded to. Um, does have maybe some injury concerns, which I think may be the reason which could slide him to day two uh, towards ACL in 2021. And then he missed multiple games last season with a groin injury. Um, so that could slide into day two, but that becomes the question mark. Then are we willing to take that risk on somebody who could potentially be injury prone? Given oh, out, y'all history? definitely are. Um, yeah, that's why I got him up here. <laughs> I know how we do, <laughs> but um, 
Yeah, this and it's Rake Straw, man. You just look at him. Ah, Should have had that, but that was my pick for this week. Yeah. Look at he, 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 Papa Achilles. Him. They got you. You got a look home. At him, look at him coming. That look at it. Look, come on, man. Knocking Jaden Daniels. He, down he, like he definitely, he definitely <laughs> runs, uh, He got a knack for the football. I, 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 I see him yeah, on TV. Uh, watch, watching a lot of SEC football. Also, definitely got a knack for the football. Um, yeah, I like it. I, I mean, we clearly know. We, I mean, I, I see we on the same. But we clearly know what the Ravens need. We, we clearly know what the weak spot is here. That no line, bro. Yeah, that no line. But I mean, the good thing is O line is a deep draft. Cornerback seems to be a talented draft as well. So. You know, we have our we have a good amount of draft picks to do what we would like to do and do what we would need to do. So it's going to be very interesting because we can sh- we can get a competitive O line and we can sh- get younger in the uh, defensive backfield. We still got a lot of high level pieces on this team, regardless of who we lose in 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 the off season or not. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see how we how we handle this. All right, man. Still assign Russell Wilson for for the for the low ski, one point two million dollars. Denver's taking care of that other thirty eight. Wait, they gotta country. pay. They, wait, they gotta pay him country. to go away, Sco? <laughs> wow. Sco won't tell you that part though. Thirty eight to go away. We talked that's about a, it. What you mean? I won't tell. See again, dang, again. Like the narratives. Don't nobody want to see that little hurt. If he, mother. If, he could, if he could, if he could make it work with Sean Payton, which make you think you'll make it work with Arthur Smith and Mike Tomlin? Like, what's, what's, we, now Arthur Mike Smith Tomlin likes him as a person. Mike Tomlin <laughs> likes him as a person. What's that got to do with the X's and, X's and O's, though, Scott? What do you mean? Yo, I like you as a person. I mean, I still me. think the Steelers I don't want to play for somebody that hates me. me. That's just me. I don't want to play for somebody that hates me. I want to be loved. I want to go where I'm appreciated. I want to go where I'm loved. Like, wait, wait, I don't want to be told week one, okay. yo, stop being love- corny and kissing babies. Or do they you love, just want to go somewhere where you know you can beat out Kenny Pickett? <laughs> like, yeah, well, you ain't got no competition. We, yeah, we exactly. ain't got no competition. That's a that's a exactly. walking lit. Yo, here, here's the thing. Here, here's the thing. It's not the <laughs> same. <laughs> but... Yeah, that's if I'm Russell Wilson. That's how I'm looking at that job. Huh. That's, Yo, here's that's the easy thing. money. Here's the thing. <laughs> I'm already getting the bag. I can go beat him out. And I can put some I can put some respect on my name. I can put some respect on my name, kind of similar to what Baker did. And even if it ain't us, he plays decent this year. Somebody give him a bag next year. Might not be us. Similar to what Baker did. What losing the first round of the playoffs? What you talking about? Losing the second round of the playoffs? What you yo, do you have a fucking Lombardi behind you? You keep bringing up the playoffs. What's the the ceiling here? What's the ceiling for Lamar, nigga? Just fucking 13 wins a game. 13 wins a year and losing the playoff the same Lamar, way. Lamar 26 yeah. years old, though. So he got 10 he'll more be years. 36 and we'll be saying the same shit. I guarantee you. No, you can't guarantee that. You wouldn't you would even put money on that. You wouldn't would put money on that. You wouldn't put money on that. Why can't I? That. He guaranteed a uh, San Francisco. You got spicy for much, though. Yo, I talk yeah, spicy so- all the time. It doesn't matter. I mean, I'm, I'm, he knows I'm, the real Russell. Russell Wilson, Russell make y'all a better team, but what... It's not, not y'all not going to win it. Y'all, so you just want to be better. That's it. That's not. Fam. That's not the score. That's not what the score still is. I know you just want to be better. You just want to be two. No, wins no, no, better. no, no. But do you know what better is? But do you two know wins. what better is? But yeah, two wins. Okay, he gonna get y'all two, two more wins. He would. He would have won. He would have won the Patriots in the Cardinals game pretty much. That's what he would have did this year. Or 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 when you see the bums that was taking us to the playoffs, maybe we can get a game. Nah. Again, 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 yo, yo, again. Right, again. Right, Let right, me right. paint. No, no, no. Let me paint the picture of the AFC. Ain't nobody scary but Patrick. Period. So Russ is nobody. The equalizer so, here. No, I don't, I don't, yo, I don't get what you're nobody's you scary, do but Russ is. Uh, yo, no, 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 no. So Josh Allen, the Lamar, rest of y'all. The like rest not, of y'all. nobody's scary. Russ gives us a better chance in the playoffs. Period. Now you can sit here. And act like Nick didn't tell me, yo, you could get a cheap quarterback that's way better. But as soon as he signs that dotted line and he's a stealer, the hate come out. It's cool. No, no, no. Can I, I love can it. I, can, I, can I, I love it. I, I love it. Some, some feedback. So I mean, I did, I'm going to let you because it's your platform. I, I mean, listen, I did say all that stuff, but I, I also didn't say to come in here boasting and shit like y'all didn't got Joe, Joe Montana. I said I he's better than Justin Fields. Again, we got to talk about the the he levels is. here, and we got to talk is. about uh, the bars that we're setting. So you saying is. better than Yo. Kenny Pickett? Yeah, no argument here. No yeah. argument here. You talking about better than Justin Fields, who nobody in the NFL seems to want to trade draft picks for, 
hey man, listen, can't blame that on uh on on Chicago, hey. can you? But hey. he's better than him. The I'm bar is low. You. I'm gonna put it to you like this. But have you, you seen put, Russell Wilson last two years? The one read quarterback, the one read quarterback. If it, doesn't, like if it doesn't go to the, the, the first read, it's a sack or throwaway or fumble or interception. He didn't play bad last year, but guess what? He didn't this play offense, good. this offense. No, let's talk about it. Let's talk about oh, it. Oh, yeah. He didn't play good. No, all right. But guess what? If you give me 3,800, if you, he suck now. Come on. I said they suck and he's not good. He's uh, mediocre. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. And that where offense was mediocre. Top 20, where would you put him at? And this, I'm just, this off the, not, I'm not saying we don't hold you. I'm not, I'm, not gonna hold, I'm not gonna hold you this. Or that off, yo, that offense that. sucked. What are you talking about? Them pieces that they had? What the ones that Jerry G, as, as much as y'all love Jerry Judy. Who? Who? Did you just say fucking Jerry Judy? As much as y'all love Jerry Judy. He's a good, Jerry Judy's a good wide receiver. Who? 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 Portland Sutton. Who? They're not good wide receivers. Who? Jerry, who? What? Come on now. All right. Now, 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 now you, 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 come on now. But y'all, but y'all, but y'all, but y'all, but y'all, you talking about me, you pretty good. You talking about me, you pretty good. You talking about me, but these are the niggas who jump for joy when they sign Sammy Watkins. So I guess they would think that. Yo, Jerry Judy is a good wide receiver. No matter who, if you're Russell Wilson, your quarterback, Cortland Sutton Jerry is the one. <laughs> Cortland Sutton is a good wide receiver. Man, y'all niggas, Nick, and though, Nick, you definitely trash Jerry Judy. So don't come like, on here that. Yes, you did. Yo, he's not who y'all think they, he is. He's to, more you, potential than not. I'm not going to yes. go into an argument fast with you. Like, for you real, because you off. said it. You can't argue in that. You can't argue that. I'm just waiting for you to yeah, jump so I can respond to say you. Jerry you can't Judy argue that. That's crazy, though. Fuck so that's not Jerry crazy, Judy. Like, I just want to respond to he's you. He's mid. Jerry Judy is mid. Why would you bring him up? Yo, you said the offense sucked. Russ sucked. He was paid $200 million to make them good. And got benched. What did he do? Yo, he got benched for financial reasons. Stop that. Stop if he was, that. If he was playing better, he, if he was playing better, he wouldn't have got benched. Yo, he wasn't playing bad. They benched him so they didn't have to pay him. What are we talking so why about? Why didn't they want to pay him, Skull? Yeah, that was a lot of fucking money that that if coach went, did if, not want. Winning, winning that coach didn't make that Is going to get benched? Is Patrick Mahomes going to get benched? Is Josh Allen going to get benched? Is, uh, okay, is Justin Herbert going to get benched? Okay, those four. Like okay, niggas, let's, who let's keep talking. Deserve their contract? Is going to get that contract, and they're going to yeah, but keep Russell, that but Russell, play Russell that beat two of them. Russell beat. He two was of gone them. within months. Russell beat two of them in that offense. Right. Uh, so that means right? you, you're making this point. Right. Offense was decent, and that's the divisional game. Right? That's the division. In that games, offense, though, go. okay. Oh, yo, we talk about trash, how tough is the win. we talk about how tough is the winning division. That's division games, and he did it. That's he he, he won them. You, right. Why do you think so? Why do you think Russell Wilson? Yo, you Russell said Wilson he sucked three y'all, weeks y'all, ago. Two, but make y'all two. I, I did two, not say he. I said team. he sucked. I don't want well, I Russell don't want or him. Sierra. That's I don't like. I never. I've never liked him. But guess what? Guess what? It, I, I, I have said it, and I'm saying it now. I'm not straying away from it. But guess what? He's, He's better than what good. we got. He's I better than that. what we got. I so sh so what are we talking about? But anybody has to be better than what y'all got. Anybody has to be better than what y'all got. It, and guess Mason, what? And guess what? And guess what? Mason was better than what y'all got. Mason was better than what we had. had. <laughs> and what we had. And what we had. And what we had is the same person that Nick said, "Yo, Kenny's a winner. He won seven games." And da 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 da. And this that and the I third. Know. And he did send a fourth quarter. Yeah, you said that. Oh, Kenny is a winner. Yes, yes, you said that. Kenny's yes, you said winner? that. Yeah, you said it. You want me to bring up the messages? I'll be a messy. I'll be a messy whore on here. I swear to God, I will. <laughs> I'll read the whole message. I man. swear to God, I will. Because y'all won because y'all defense. Yep. I say, I say, he, he laid a, 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 a few four quarter drives. Kenny is a winner. Keep talking. Uh, I, 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 and we'll read. And we'll he's read. Even if he did, say, I, still, I need the context. I need the context. I need the context about because he's not going to get context. And he was talking about Justin Fields. He was talking about Justin Fields. Yo, he used he used every argument that I tried to make against y'all against me. I swear to God, he did. But we're talking about bars here. I I keep telling you, I'm talking if about Kenny did that, the bar. If Ken, yo, if Kenny did that, the you bar's give just a field. You that give me thirty eight. You give me thirty eight hundred yards and twenty five touchdowns, and and yeah, we talking about something. We talking about a team who hasn't thrown for twenty five fucking touchdowns since Ben left. The fuck are yeah. you talking about? Well, why you think <laughs> Russell? But why you think Russell going to do this though? Like at, right at this point in his career, you mean why 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 wouldn't he? My man has an older now. He just did it last year. It's a new offense. He just did it last year. And it's another. He just did it last year. What are you talking about? Yo, did you watch the Broncos play last year and see no. how bad he played? No matter what, what you. Yo, he didn't play that bad. Thirty hundred yards, twenty five touchdowns. Who cares? He didn't play that bad. 
He, he sucked, sucked. though. Yes, look Yo. at the tape. He sucked. He couldn't even so he got sacked so many damn times because it was his fault. Like Nick said, one read, he was bailing on the pocket. He and when they got hot, you keep throwing yeah, 30 sacks. When they got hot, that defense 45 sacks last year. You keep you keep throwing 3,800 yards, 25 touchdowns. Oh, he, he's not taking them. He's not taking them sacks here. Yo, so we have sacked, better. We have better weapons. And didn't even play a whole season. He's not taking them sacks here, y'all. That offensive line is better than your offensive line. We know that for a fact. Oh, we. we know we... That. <laughs> okay. Okay. You okay. you keep scrolling. Okay. I am because y'all talk so much shit. I gotta find it. Keep scrolling. Scroll, we lost I was talking England, about him versus Justin Fields. He lost in New England. Like, come on. Who <laughs> who lost in New England? Russell Wilson. Okay, so he fits with us then. The fuck? I don't care. <laughs> He's a the bum. fuck. Okay. Let's go. This is not this like, like five years ago. Skull. This, this old. I didn't. Russell I, I didn't. Right. I don't. No, I not. know that. This old. Ben I know that. Wilson, Skull don't know how to act. I know that. You don't know how huh? to act without Ben. You mean I don't know how to act without Ben? He's better than what we got. Listen, don't turn the ball over. So far, went from twenty-five here touchdowns to here. and got lit. Let's <laughs> go. Don't you know how we? Don't you know how we? Ask yourself that. Let's go. Let's go. Twenty-five tutties and got lit. Why don't wouldn't not, I be? Why? Let's go, why? Let's go, no, let's nobody's let's answering we, that. Thirty-eight million to go. Go somewhere else, please. Go. How we? How we act about? We'll take you for one point two. How we act about Sammy Watkins and all the receivers? That's how you act. I wouldn't have traded. I don't remember acting crazy about no Sammy Watkins either. So. Oh, you did because I brought up that injury history as soon as y'all stopped parading. It was quick. Go pull that footage up. Odell, how you said Odell finally got received Odell like. Yeah, I told y'all. And what did I tell y'all? Like like you been here before. So you had been. I said yo. I said yo. You been here before. I said yo. What did you say? Yo. I said yo. He's not a. He's not. He's not a needle mover. He's not. That's right. what I told you. We tell you, you the same. We tell you the same about Russell. Sammy Watkins not. was a needle mover. He, no, you talking he, about Odell? No, 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 no. Yo, dog. Catch this is oh, Odell. Odell. Pull, pull. You talking about Odell, pull, right? Odell pull averaged his that. highest yards per catch his entire career with us. Since our Keys issue, like pulling up playoff games, what are you doing in the playoff game? Wide receiver rotation. Keys like talking about playoff. Like Keys, when he plays, Keys likes talking about the playoffs. What do he do? Yeah, but we we already know the game plan was flawed. The game plan was fucked. The nigga threw fifty times. What are you talking? What are we talking about? The game when was he in them fifty? Hurt, and he shouldn't have do fifty times. The game part was fair, but I ain't talking about. Where was he in them fifty? Where was he? We sit here arguing about what like 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 bring that game up. Like for real, we sit here you want to bring that fucking Bengals game up, nigga? Nobody telling you to stop. We can talk about the Buffalo Bills if you want. Yeah, the fuck. Yeah, talk. I got all the energy. Talk about the Bills and Mason Rudolph. Russell Wilson got you like this. Russell Wilson ain't got me like shit. Y'all got me like this. Y'all got me like this. Y'all got me like this. Did y'all? No, this I was is, not this like how this. He was no, about no, no, this no. Was, me and him no, was like this every no, week. I remember. No, I, no, I actually this. came back on Friday. So I just don't feel nah. like this. Ain't no, right. go ahead. Like, you still can't back. find it. Y'all always say it. I haven't seen it. Yo, no, dog, y'all done. got me like this. I, I can't. Y'all got me like this. You know why y'all got me like this? You know why y'all got me like this? You know why y'all got me? And this is why me and you do this. Don't let this is why me and you do this. Do you know why I'm like this? Because especially you who say, yo, he's a way better quarterback for that price. And now you get on here. I'm telling you, it's because he wearing them colors. You it's because he wearing them colors. That's a fact. Because you, fact, though, you said, yo, That's Rush didn't even play that bad you last year. You said that. Though, you didn't yo. even let me finish You said my that. Or nothing. You said you it. Start yelling. You ain't even. Yo, you said it. Think. That's because he said Jerry Judy. That pissed me the fuck off. Because who the fuck <laughs> is Jerry Judy? Who is Deontay no, Johnson? You ain't even what? Let niggas get who eight. is Deontay Johnson? Somebody that's got paid in this league and made a Pro Bowl and had somebody to get quarterback by Mason Rudolph. He hasn't. His yeah, he put up numbers with Mason Rudolph as a rookie. He somebody put up numbers. He's only March. This is crazy. He's put up numbers as a rookie with Mason Rudolph. Came back. Gotta stop that narrative too. Gotta stop that narrative too. He has seven seven drop passes. I can name you five. I can name you five receivers who y'all look at as goats that had more drops than him. You looking at box scores where they where they determine a, a a drop versus a uncatchable pass versus a deflection? Like yo, if you watch the games, shit that bounce off your hands is is a drop to me. Yo, I uh, you who that I I just, I've watched the game. Them drops, them drops. You yeah, he drops them, but it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not what y'all say. It's not what y'all say. And well, I guarantee they say because they about to get rid of him. Deontay will be your best. Just like the Broncos got rid of Russ. He will be Thirty eight million to go. He would be your best like receiver. He's ex-wife that you don't even care and about. No, he bitch. knows how to keep these to himself. He would be your best receiver. He would. <laughs> hey, Sco. I don't give a you, fuck. I can't believe Russell Wilson got you like this, yo. I really it ain't. Can't. No, again, can I make a point? It ain't Russell Wilson. You made many. 
It ain't Russell Wilson. It's so y'all that's acting him. like y'all wasn't telling me. Yo, he ain't play that bad. Yo, I ain't never seen. I, I ain't never seen him. He sucked. He sucked. Da, 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 da. He sucked. Da, 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 da. I don't like, care on a. Th- I don't care on a thirty hundred yards, twenty five touchdowns. He sucked. Uh, so Broncos sucked. All of that. So if we're gonna, if we're gonna, if we're gonna not use a narrative, we're gonna use context. Yes, he was a way better option than Justin Fields. Why would I trade a second, third round pick, or multiple picks? So is he is he not dollars. a way better op- is he not a way better option than what we had? But if your options already are ass, that is if he, not is saying he, much. But bro. Is, so if you bring Russell in, you mar- the, you marginally got better as a team. Yes, I I, I fully so, hold so that. Believe so that. but here's the thing: you all keep talking about marginally better. Yo, we made the playoffs with fucking Mason Rudolph. You also made the playoffs for the week schedule too. No, y'all made that playoffs because of that. No, you keep talking about the week schedule. We had the same schedule. Stop it. So what? We always have reschedules. Y'all been saying that for three years. Look at the opponent win percentage. I ain't got to lie. Y'all been talking about that for three years. It's week this. It's every single. Look at the opponent win percentage against the teams that you guys faced. Are we God's favorite? No, y'all, y'all well coached. You got a good defense. (laughs) That's it. Y'all like we keep getting these weak defense. schedules. Are we God's favorite? Is God a Steelers fan? I don't think he is because we don't have no Super Bowls in the last 12 years. So, so he can't be a Steelers fan. So the schedule was hard. It was from the same middle. schedule as y'all. Like, what are you talking that's about? Not that's the my same point thing. here. Like, y'all going to be in the same position was. next year. Y'all going to be in the same. Huh? That's a one-year contract. He's not signing again there. So y'all going to be in the same position next year. That's my point. Like, what's, what, why sign him? For well, that's year. Why. Y- y'all not going to know You want to know why I wanted Justin Fields? You want to know why I wanted Justin Fields and not Russ? Because I know that. No, I, no, I, I, no. I agree that y'all should want no. Justin Fields because I think Justin Fields no. got bigger upside. He's he has younger. more upside. He has more upside, and he's not a one-year deal. I don't want this one-year deal, but I'm going to take it for this one year because I know, hey, we're going to be more competitive than we were with Kenny fucking Pickett. I mean, I guess if that's what you're going for, just be more competitive every week, I guess. You know? I mean, like I said, the, more competitive, said the, the we don't yeah. disagree so, with you here, Scott. So if you take, if you take me from We're the ones games, that told you Kenny sucked. A year ago. If you take me from 10 games, if you take me from 10 games, from 10 games, and you make me more competitive, what is that? We want 10 fucking games with them bumps. We, 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 we already said that you guys are going to get marginally better. We're just trying to hold you off by saying, you talking about the AFC. Nobody. Because I didn't say Super Bowl. Like, bro, I'm not. You, I'm, you, not. You, you, I'm 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 not. You, you, like Russell Wilson, you looking, you're you're overlooking I'm, the I'm, North. Yo, the MVP. Yo, the MVP. Because you know why I talk like that? Because the MVP. Because the MVP is nothing to me. That's cool. All right, see. Yeah, that's, that's why I say that. Kenny no, was. It, it, <laughs> that, yo, the, yo, the that. defense. Yo, the defense is going to be there. The defense is going to be there. I just don't need you to turn the ball over, and put some points on the board. You lucky, my. Friend. I don't need much. I don't need much. Go get a charger. That's upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> we can take a break. I, I got commercials. You can take a break. Go get it. I want you to talk to me. Hey man, listen. If you're happy, I'm happy, Sco. I love it when you're happy. I love it when you like this, just so it can come crashing down, and I'll be there to, to, to help you through those times. Don't worry. And guess what? The week after that, I'm gonna watch you crash because that's what you do every fucking year. <laughs> hey man, well, I, I don't know why y'all week. talk like I that. At least get that week. I get that week. Oh, this year, this year is two. Oh, oh, y'all was out oh. early. Yeah. Yeah, y'all, was, y'all yeah. was watching us. Yeah, we had to go to Buffalo. Y'all had to play a rookie quarterback. Nice. That's what 13 wins will get you. You get that position to do that, but it ain't gonna matter. Because guess what? It's only one nigga that's scared. Up in the snow. Didn't y'all say y'all was huh? gonna muck it up in the snow? Y'all had a chance to win. We I, did. I remember we did. we did. We did. Yo, y'all I was no IV'd up looking like yo. Mason started. Mason, y'all had no really? Russell Wilson puts <laughs> really? the nobody heart. Nobody no, at this point in his career, nobody's scared of Russell Wilson. Like it's, it's only one. I, I, I tell you, that, I, I, I'm speaking. I'm speaking from a different because I'm not scared of the nigga that niggas is scared of. Who? He's talking your about quarterback. Him. Yeah. Are you talking about? Yeah. Talking about Lamar. He yeah. sending shots to Lamar while defending Russell Wilson. We'll, 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 I'm Russell not Wilson defending Russell. Win Wilson. the training camp battle. Come on, yo, stop, stop, stop. He can't make us marginally better than you say he can't beat out Kenny Pickett. Which one is it? Uchi Wally Wally or one Mike? Kenny, Kenny, Kenny might come rejuvenated. Kenny might what? It's a, a, a train. Kenny might come rejuvenated. Kenny might come rejuvenated. Kenny can't battle. Yeah, right. Yo, <laughs> Kenny might be ready no to rejuvenation going, going to stop you from running out of running into them sacks. Y'all saw it, right? Yeah, right. I, I, I just don't the, think. The right. <laughs> of course, y'all. Of course no, no, no. Russell, Russell runs out of sacks. He runs out of sacks. He you're runs out of sacks. You're thinking about 2015, Russ. No, 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 no. Not even Seattle. Not even Seattle. He took a lot of sacks last year, but he definitely ain't going to He gonna get out of way more than Kenny did. Way more. Way, way, way more. 
Ooh. way more. Why and also, three eighty three. 383. Look at yeah. I gotta put it's these there. in my notes because these are the type it's of shit. There. This is why I this is it's why there. I can't get your ass to But again, I don't but again, yeah, but again, notes. but again, I, I didn't say Russell was gonna win a Super Bowl or make an all pro. I just we'll said be he's gonna about make this better, right? That's all we care about. Just said he was gonna, the I bar, to like he was, said, the bar is so I low. I wanted to say he was how do we get here? How do we get here? Y'all niggas not I don't know. Here's the thing. I don't know why y'all think y'all gonna win more. We used to talk about fruit bowls on here, so I don't know why. Now, now I don't know why y'all keep talking about him. I want y'all to stop him. We can just talk about fucking the field. Like, I want y'all to stop talking about him and be real with yourself. No and way. then you when they no happen, way. when when it happens, you won't be looking out the window because you knew it was going to happen. No, that's we, what we, I want. That's, that's our goal. You know you're not you're, winning one. Your goal is you to know. win 12 games a year. I bar still high. I can't believe it. Nah, I bar's never lower. Nah. <laughs> Yo, we, we you go into the playoffs hot? You go into the playoffs hot, anything can happen. You going to the playoffs, how anything can happen. And when you're confident that one of the best teams in the AFC can't fuck with you, anything can happen. Your house, their Man, let's talk about some baseball, man. I don't want to talk about Russ no more. Yeah. Austin Eckler just hey, signed with the Commanders. Do I like that move? They better pair him up with something. Oh, they got Brian Robinson still. Skoden froze himself up. I don't even know what he's doing. <laughs> so angry, <laughs> going on that talking. Yo, he did. He did not want Russ, and now he's yelling about Russ. I love it. I love scoring. <laughs> Get that nigga off the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're also petty, laughs> now nah, let's get to get to some more NFL uh, free agency. Though Saquon signed to the Eagles. Um. Just move. Yeah, they're not gonna like. They're not gonna like that in New York, boy. I can't. That Eagles. This this NFL season is gonna be even more. Did you hear what Tiki said? What, yeah. what Tiki said? No, I didn't. What Tiki said? You're dead to us, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Y'all ain't paying. He, y'all did to him too. The fuck? <laughs> what, was he not supposed to go to a divisional rival? I guess I don't know. But yeah. man, he said Tiki said he did to me too. Saquon said, "Keep that same energy when I see." <laughs> like the you mean you mean to tell me the Giants couldn't match that contract the, the Eagles gave them three years thirty something million dollars? To be to be fair, the Giants Giants fans have, are saying that they offered him a bigger deal last season, mm-hmm. coming off that playoff year, coming off you know mm-hmm. you know an injury uh, an injury freely year. They offered him more money. They didn't match or offer him a deal this year. My thing is, if it was on the table last year. Why isn't it on the table again, especially in, in the vein of matching a deal or or, or upping yeah. a deal like this? What, what was the terms of this? Three years, 30, 30 36, 37 million, something like that. That's like, not a lot of like bread. 26 for million guaranteed is something, something crazy. Like that's something not, not something easy, that's right? Not a lot of bread for a Staquan, <laughs> somebody that you drafted as well. But at the same token, you just got to look at how they move it, man. Like when you have players on the Giants that are saying, yo, I don't understand how um and foundational players, I think Thibodeau said this, like mm-hmm. like foundational players are saying, yo, I don't understand how we didn't pay Saquon, but we paid Daniel. I think that's ass backwards, and that doesn't send a good message to the locker room. When you got p- current players saying stuff like that, yeah. I don't that's know, Saquon, 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 Saquon is going to fall your offense. Saquon is going to eat them alive. He probably had 200 yards rushing against the Giants when he played the Giants. It's, it's going to happen. Let's talk about the football fit. So the Giants for Saquon was a bad football fit just – uh, because they had no offensive line, they had no quarterback, they had no play action game, like they had nothing that could make his job easier. Um, right. Now you look at the Eagles. You have you have a RPO game. You have a you have receivers that you have to account for. You have an offensive line. Now, mind you, you, they've lost a couple pieces on the offensive line, but they 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 have a good system over there where I think they'll be okay up front. They're gonna draft well, man. They're, they're the the, the open lanes he's gonna have. He's Talk never no line. You, you gotta defend. Line you gotta, you gotta defend. You, New York go, terrible. Yeah, you gotta defend Jalen Hurts or you gotta finish Swick on Poppy. Like pick your fucking boys in. And they and have right. good blocking tight ends and receiving tight ends. Like they can do everything on that squad and they scheme up well. It's and like they scheme up well. It's really like a perfect fit for Saquon if they show up that offensive line. It's really like a perfect fit for him for real. You're not gonna see as many loaded boxes either because of the talent on the outside with Brown and Smith and Dean got got it in the middle. Like he and, and the scary he, part is do what he wanna do. The scary part is uh, the Saquon we know is the Saquon. <laughs> the so Saquon they, we know. Angry, Sco. You froze yourself. <laughs> yeah, that was your internet, Sco. Nah, yo. Niggas that was your me. internet. I'm not going to stop the flow. Keep going. I, I, we was just talking about Saquon. Nah, your about Saquon. Was really froze. When you go back and watch, look, you was frozen. No, nah, I saw it when I, I saw myself frozen when I was going off and then everything just went black. It's cool. I had to calm down anyway. 
I'm, I'm nah. right. Saquon. No, nah, Saquon, we was talking about. <laughs> we just talked about the fit between the Giants and now the fit with the Eagles. And we was pretty much saying, like, he's going to have the most room to operate with that he's ever had. And the Saquon that we know is the Saquon that gets open field. And then it's just you versus your last line of defense. And when it's that, it don't go well. You should make Jalen better, too. Yeah, I said that re option is gonna be that's gonna be the most dangerous yeah. option. Ever. Like, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Make, it was kind of about that touch, but it's gonna be that read option next year. It's gonna yeah, be Jalen needs a bounce back here. Yeah, yeah, he does. I didn't like mm-hmm. what they put on tape, and yeah. I didn't like the stuff that was coming like behind the scenes either. But I mean, yeah, listen, bro, that's a that's a huge sign. And so it, it's a it goes back to the cap ain't real. I mean, it is real, but you can so, massage yeah, it, you can yeah. finesse it. Yeah. Charges real the, the uh, official terms on that deal honestly, was three years, thirty-seven point seven five yeah, million. This is personal. Oh, Twenty-six million guarantee, right? Something like that. Yeah, this is personal. He wanted to. He wants to play. The, y'all didn't pay me. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. All and right. I'm going to go to the team that we we both know are better. Yeah, and both know that, are better. That, that, found, that that has a way. I like you said, the cap is fake, but they're paying way more people, and they found some bread for me. Oh yeah, nah. Yeah. They paid him like a top five running back. I mean, they say only behind McCaffrey, Kamara, and Jonathan Taylor. They ain't got the fourth richest contract right now for running back. Yeah, salute. And, and, and it don't even seem like it with that money. And no, I know don't. Dayball yeah, and the funny. GM, they were a package deal. You would think they would have more say or more influence to be able to – I don't know how well, how much that they kind of, uh, I don't know, like – hit the table or smash the table for Saquon saying, Hey, yo, we need him to come back. Like, let's make it a thing for him to come back. Um, I would have, if, if I know that that guy is what got me into the playoffs and got people calling me a genius. Um, I would have fought hard for him. I don't know how hard the coaching staff and the, in the front office fought for him. If there was no offer on the table from the ownership, if it's something where that was the case and ownership just didn't listen or ownership just didn't heed to their, their employees advice and suggestions that's another tell talk, telling sign of the the shit that is the organization of the giants and i mean you gotta think about it. they they don't have a quarterback they don't have any receivers um they're gonna suck next year their they, skill they, players they, are horrible yeah it, it, they it got devin like singletary today well. Devin Singletary and but well, he gonna run behind. Like I said, where he gonna run behind? Like that's not, I mean, I mean, good good for Devin Singletary. Get paid, get definitely get your yeah, money. Right. But and yeah, you in New York? Be... But, yeah. I'm probably gonna stay with Texans. I would have stayed with the Texans if I was him. But they yeah. they were looking to get Saquon. So I, I, I still... yeah, I don't think they wanted him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, who else did y'all talk about while I was out of here? So I don't repeat. That was the first. No, nah, that was the first. First one. one. Okay. Okay. Um, hey, Mr. Bagman himself, Kirk Cousins, strikes a game. He's still getting paid. God, strikes dang. a game, hundred million dollars guaranteed, forty five a year, to be the Atlanta Falcons' new quarterback. I mean, you, yeah, we, we we talked about uh, last year. We kept on picking it. Well, I kept picking the Falcons because uh, you know their weapons and they had all the pieces. Um, they just had a quarterback, and now they do. You know, they they got a competent quarterback. He's going to be able to get the ball to Drake. Like he's going to be able to get the ball to Kyle Pitts. He's going to be able to get the ball to uh, to Bijan. Like you know. They gonna be good. They uh, now we gonna. I think we are gonna see the Falcons that I thought we gonna see last year. We are gonna see them Falcons this year. Um, you know, granted, Kirk come off an injury. He he's healthy off injury. I think they going and they, they Raheem, Raheem Morris is definitely a better coach to Arthur Smith. So let, let's you know he, he should be able to fire them boys up. I think Atlanta's gonna be pretty damn good. Yeah, me too. And um, Kirk does have a hell of an agent, but people always say like he steals bags and like. This and that, like uh, yo, he goes on the field and performs. Yeah. Low, low key, key, he goes on the field. Now, does he win the big games? You can say that about a lot of quarterbacks, right? Like, He's at like this white point, deck. If you ain't, if you ain't, if you ain't a uh, Patrick Mahomes, like you can say that about every quarterback in this league. So, and he is like Dak, but that's a step forward. So we talking about yeah. the bar, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> like he's, they're they're more than comfortable yeah, stepping over the up. Desmond Ritter bar to a Kirk Cousins. More mm, than comfortable. Gonna put up. 4,500, 30 plus touchdowns. Like you said, the big game, but AFC. Yeah, South. Look at that. Divi- look at that. Look at that. Yeah, they the should win I mean, a division by four or five South. games now. Like, you know, yeah, like, yeah. They should, I mean, the Bucks still going to be the Bucks. So, you know, I'm not going to count them out, but and they should win that defense. division. You yeah. like that defense a lot. Yeah, I mean, so. their defense, they, I mean, depending on what they do with that defensive line, they still got a great secondary. They got the linebacks. They got all the pieces there, and they got a defensive coach coming in. They're going to be that. They're going to be pretty good. 
And he got an offense that Kurt is familiar with too that he's coming into. So the fact that he the, mm-hmm. the head of the offense is familiar with the offense and he's teaching these young guys where to be, um, I just think that makes the transition even more smooth. Drake London ain't complaining. How I've been waiting. There. I've been waiting to have my career. How Pitts ain't complaining. <laughs> I've been waiting. How Kyle Pitts like yo? I'm finally not gonna be looked at as a bust. Thank you. Right. Oh, they gonna they can get a they, they can get a wide receiver that. too up in there, um, and complete like that whole starting uh, unit on the offense. And then you got Bijan, and then you got uh, Tyler in the backfield. Uh, it do get scary, bro, because he wasn't mobile to begin with. So the Achilles injury, it, it doesn't um. I'm not as worried about it. You know, he doesn't rely on his legs per se. As long as he can sit back there, plan his foot, and drive the football, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Yeah. I think the more telling story from this, this signing is like Fields now. Like, what's what's the market for him? It is no market. Man, the Bears, the Bears messed that up. Yeah, they they went that it was more than it was. Like, you should have yeah. took what we was Actually, offering. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and yeah, just, so it was like, what did they do? Second. Second at first, and then a when you look, it was like, all right, I'm not a second. Take this third. No, all right, cool. Then we're going to go holler at Russ. And at, at you hollering at Russ. I did see that the Raiders are inquiring about him, but the Raiders signed Gardner Minshew. That and everybody was complaining about, oh, look at his scheme. Oh, well, the, the Bears OC is the Raiders OC. Hey, yeah, yeah. That so you're just going to be blaming him again? Like, yeah. nah. <laughs> And I, I wanted I wanted to take the flyer on him with the potential and a better coach, but hey. And that's all I was saying. Y'all don't have potential or a flyer roster. Y'all got win now pieces, so go get a yeah. vet. My so thing I is, I just wouldn't be playing in the Super Bowl. That's all I was saying, Scott. I love you. I come in peace. Baby. I love y'all. I love y'all. <laughs> I, I love y'all. It's hard to tell sometimes. No, no. <laughs> Yeah, Dog. so it really is. What'd it's you say about Russell? I'm like, all right. It wasn't even about Russell. They can say, Jerry Judy. Where's the, where's where's the, the love? Where's... <laughs> he pissed me off like that. Like, I ain't gonna lie. That sent me over. And that sent me over like, the top. Who? That ain't a blood who? pressure when this. Who? He said Jerry Rice. I'm like, wait, what? That's not the Jerry I don't know. You talking about Judy? This shit was hilarious. <laughs> not Alabama. What the, what like, not even Alabama Jerry Judy. Like, we talking about present day Jerry Judy that got traded for a six round pick. Like, nah, we're not talking about that. <laughs> Russ got let go. That's, that's crazy. The, Bron- the Broncos was asking for a, 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 a number one for him doing season. Like they was over. They was asking for one for him doing the season. Yeah. That's the reason yeah. why the Ravens they get him because they wanted to fucking one. Yeah. So back to back to cool. fields though. Back to yes. fields though. Um, so yeah, I think the Raiders would be the probably the best fit for him, being that they have the most need. But uh, you look at the landscape across the league, the need for quarterback it is evaporated. Those were the b- biggest two pieces of uh, Atlanta and what you call it? Atlanta. Who, who's the uh, your team? The Steelers. Yeah, in Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh. Yeah. You got the Raiders, but they they're not going to bet against themselves or or bargain against themselves. And quite as kept, they're saying the interest around the league is lukewarm on Justin because they they look at him as a project. And I thought this was a tad bit disrespectful, but they were comparing him. They was like, what's the difference between him and Sam Darnold? Yeah, I saw that. They, yeah, they don't view him. Tad bit disrespectful, but if you're looking at wins, he's better than Sam Dog. If you're looking at wins, yeah, if you're looking at wins, I'm not wins. putting that on his jacket. Somebody I'm who had a top, he had top five QBR the last after week seven last season. Like, I how many wins just, did that match? I'm, I'm on record to saying just, I, I, I think Justin Fields is a good quarterback. I think Justin, I agree, Nick. I think Justin Fields is a great quarterback. He just, he just so damn inconsistent. Like he'll look like a top three quarterback. You got to trade for an inconsistency yeah. when you can yeah, get an inconsistency then, for a million dollars on the open market. Then he'll go two weeks where he look like trash, and the next two weeks he'll look like a top, like he'll look like a damn MVP. Uh, like, it's so I'm inconsistent. Like a god one week. Like. Yeah, like it look. It, you know, he he can be so good, and then he can be so damn bad. And Not like, many. You weeks, can't bro. you can't trade it. You can't trade the number one for that. You can't. He had a couple deep, like yo, what? But no, like he you did. Said, yo, this past season, he he his he, issue he was the good. four, like one he through three. Be- it was, but if that game is close in the fourth. He just he 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 melted. He was a puddle. Of, he was a puddle of ice. I I I I see why teams are taking that stance because again the Bears they wanted they start off wanting multiple draft picks right yeah. a, a first I and a third or a second and a yeah. fourth stuff like that. Why trade for that inconsistency and give up high draft capital when I can go sign an inconsistency? Mm-hmm. They both inconsistencies. <laughs> yeah, and you, you know one better than another. Yeah. One and is that, more costly. 
and one is that fifth year option too. You got that fifth year options right you there. So it's like, and then you might you have to extend so, them if you give them a second. Are they gonna bring both of, if they don't trade them to the Raiders? What are they gonna bring them both in camp and have them? That's gonna be terrible. Like mm-hmm. having him and Caleb Williams battle for the. Right, like it's it's terrible financially because you gonna you paying your backup quarterback what four million dollars. The league is putting the Bears in a horrible position because the league is saying, "Yo, we're not gonna bargain against ourselves," and the price is dropping every day. Yeah, and then. On the flip side, it's like we don't want to bring him back because it's going to cause issue in the locker room. He's already we already told him we we're going to take care of him too. They told him they're going to take care of him and, and send him to a good spot. You would hope at this point they would send him to, the, to Vegas, regardless of the package, just because he at least got some familiarity with the OC. Yeah. At the very least, he's not walking in blind, and he has a and he has a very good shot of being the starter there. And it's Devontae a young rebuilding team. You you kind of would want to be with Pierce, right? And, and Devonte Adams, you got, yeah. Um, I'm about to say. But if I'm Devontae Adams, boy, I'm kicking yeah, I don't, every I don't, piece I don't, of furniture yeah, in that okay, fucking I organization. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I came here for my I, man. I, I, yeah, I get, I, get, I get the inconsistency. I get all that. But if I'm telling you, I, I can't play with Justin Fields, yo. Not, I can't not play with my career. I mean, you want Tay, you, you want that or you want a rookie? I, yeah, I mean, yeah. Tay don't got no Tay, Tay, Tay yeah. ain't Tay got no Tay. wins. Got you telling me my best option is Gardner Minshew. Who is cool? I mean, he's a player. They might as well be. They might as well be. I take Gardner I take Gardner over Justin they must keep I saw him lead a playoff team. He, he don't got I 10 wins on his he I just should have stayed with Earn. That's why I'm mad. Shit, I left Earn. Yeah. <laughs> when them direct deposits hit, he'd be like, eh, yeah, ah. he, got the, he got the Taco Bell commercial. He 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 eating, but <laughs> I know he's gonna be interesting win. though. Because yeah. I, I do think I, I listen, I'm gonna take my 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 fields bias and hate aside. He definitely has more left in the tank as far as proving himself and i just i think he deserves a good opportunity not not no bullshit opportunity i, I think he deserves another shot in the nfl as a starter um where he doesn't have to compete he walks in and the team says all right you're our guy we're gonna give you a couple seasons and see how it goes it's just those opportunities i just don't see many of them right now now that could change mm-hmm. but I mean, he's better. I mean, if, you, if we talking about thirty-two quarterbacks, Justin Fields is definitely one of the better. Like, he's better than Daniel Jones. Like, come on, like, so, like, Daniel Jones sucks. Like, you feel, it's it's quarterbacks that, that Justin Fields, like you said, should walk in the door. He should be the guy. Um, but is he gonna be the guy for six weeks? Or is he gonna be the guy for seventeen weeks? That's that's what that's that's the question you gotta ask. And and then money money talks too. So if I'm so that's an excellent point because yes, the in in all in all uh, accounts of it, the Giants should be looking at an upgrade at Daniel Jones. But then they like, damn, we paying Daniel Jones all this money. So is it even realistic to think about this? I don't know why the Giants did that shit. How like, can we get still- off him and then and then get him? And we can't pay both of them at the same time. It's uh I definitely think he's one of the best 32, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but are those opportunities gonna be there at the bottom tier of, of the quarterbacks? Because the bottom tier, you got younger type of quarterbacks that you still believe you still believe in Bryce Young. Um you, you got you got teams that might draft quarterbacks, though the commanders uh, of the world. What about Minnesota? Minnesota is an option, but now I know it's in division. That'll tell me how the Bears really feel about him if they trade him to Minnesota. I, and if I'm him, I would want that. Like that'll put a chip on my if you I'm just in Jefferson, am I gonna resign with you guys? You bringing me him. Also about that, he ain't signed yet, heavy. You went from a pocket nah, pass. He hasn't. He hasn't. <laughs> and, and mind you, and mind you, let me let me be fair to Justin Fields. Justin Fields got helped um uh DJ Moore get his numbers last year. Yeah, he haven't they DJ Moore had a great individual season. So yeah. can he support a number one wide receiver? I believe so. I believe so. Um but that's a that's that's gonna be risky because you know, Minnesota, everything is about making Justin happy. So as long as he's with it, I'd I'd entertain it. But if he's not with it, I don't know. I'd have to ask him first, though. What you want? What quarterback would you like me to go after, Justin? You want a rookie or you want Fields? Trade me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how about this? How about option C? <laughs> Give Baltimore, me want me. Baltimore want me. Yeah, Bro. Baltimore need me, too. Yo, stop. Yo, <laughs> yo y'all have to stop this. Y'all got to stop this. <laughs> Why yeah, yeah. y'all been doing it ever since Juju? I'm not gonna let you. I got so much receipts on y'all that I just don't pull up in them t- in, in them chat. Yo, yo, I do. I say them on here, but I I piss myself off and start yelling. You the one yo. told me Juju was like that. I listen to you. I listen to my I brother in no, Christ. I didn't. No, I t- <laughs> spoke no, I did not. No, you said that man not. was it. A- no, I did not. I never asked brother when he was a steal. Nah, that was his manager down there. <laughs> 
Nah, Juju, no, Juju should have signed. Was Juju should have signed in Boston. We needed Juju that year. We needed Juju that year. That was before that his, was his manager. He was, he was scared of the Steelers. He was scared of you, Skull. He didn't want to disappoint the Steelers. I said, That's yo, he was I just want Juju. I, I said, Juju, right, a good right, player. Right, just stop dancing on people's logos times, and chill out. That's all I wanted him to do. <laughs> just stop dancing on people's logos. You pissing them off. Stop. Stop. Juju left the money on the table. Can't believe it. he left the money on the table from the Chiefs and then ended up with he. Well, he got his ring. He did, but he could have got there a year. Early. He could have got there a year. Early. But hey, oh, Sco, we didn't mention it during during the uh, the Steelers segment. But Antonio Brown uh, called that whole thing like a few days before the official signing. He said Russell Wilson's going to is is signing with the Steelers. Whoever's so tweeting we, for him, we, we got to give him some respect. Whoever's C- tweeting for him, CTE ESPN. Uh, whoever's tweeting for him, whoever whoever's tweeting for him, I'm standing on that. I don't think it's him, but whoever it is, salute because they was. Yo, we all yo, come on. Maybe he got sauces. Maybe he's maybe he he's do. the new Adam. Maybe he's the new he Adam. Do. He do. He do. I ain't mad at it. I ain't mad at it. One two step. We got any more? About, for you? Yeah. How you feel about uh the Josh Jacobs joint? Ah, uh, we didn't talk about. Josh. I like it. it. I love it. I love it. I love it for Jordan Love. I love it for that offense. Like, uh, and, right. and Aaron Jones. Is I mean, they already had Aaron. They already had Aaron. And they already had Aaron Jones. But right. I just think Josh Jacobs is just a little bit better than Aaron Jones. So, you just replacing a really good running back with. I think. I th- I... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say I think they they similar tiers. Just one was younger. Yeah. And if I'm going to pay a running back top money. Because they really wanted Aaron Jones to take a pay cut and restructure his deal. He said, "Nah, I'm I'm 29 years old. I'm gonna take this bag." And they was like, "We're gonna cut you and get yeah. get, get get younger at the position and pay him that money." So yeah. business nah, is business. I get it, but they, I like, I they like didn't the get business. worse. They definitely they didn't, didn't get, get worse. worse, and they might have got a little better at that position. But I agree. The reason uh, the, the I, reason I, the Giants I, couldn't pay Saquon is because they just traded for Brian Burns, gave him 150 million dollars. Whoa! <laughs> On the That's opposite right. side of Kayvon? Ooh. John's trading for Pat, Pat, Pat the but what good is that, Dawn? I mean, to nothing for the offense. Contract. Oh, you could be the pick. They, they could be the it's Pittsburgh. It's going to be Kenny Pickett and, <laughs> and, he be the Pittsburgh and the Steelers State defense. <laughs> and but they don't, I don't think they ball is Mike Tomlin. So 87.75 we'll million guaranteed, the second Ooh. highest paid defensive him. in the NFL history. Good for him. He deserves good it. Him. Brian Burns yeah. is like that. He mm-hmm. definitely is. Definitely Oh, is. we didn't talk. Hey, let's go. Stop playing with us, bro. We ain't even talk about Justin Matabuki, yeah? The biggest. Come on. Get somebody. No, but we ain't got nothing to queue. Justin Matabuki. Big shit. Yo, boy. Money. I ain't got shit to queue up for him. Big Come money. Man. That's your man. Listen, NFL. Oh, NFL. Oh, you NFL, was going to slide past that. Hater. You was going to slide past that, Skull. I'm not a hater. I'm not yeah, a hater. I wasn't. I wasn't. I, I wasn't. I, it's. Yeah, and I feel like the Ravens still got him for a discount too. I really feel like it. I, I really feel like so they, he could have got, got, I mean, got, got, got he got he got he got way more money, and he took a nah, discount, he, discount. Shout out to Justin. He just helped Chris Jones. Yo, you saw that? Don't play with me. <laughs> Don't play with me. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, Justin. Thank you, because the Chiefs. That's it. That's all, yeah. right, all right, all right. We wilding. We wilding. Right. Now I look. I mean, I'm just looking for. I think just. I think now you go out and you dominate. You you could potentially win defensive player. You just outplay that contract. Make them pay you again. That's that's where he should be at this career. Make him pay you again. Make him give you another big ass contract. One thing I like uh, from DeCasa that he mentioned, he was like, "Listen, when you have Lamar Jackson and you have that type of cap hit on your roster, you can only resign but so many people, and it's and it sucks as a GM because you draft these people and you get attachments to these people, or you sign these people, get attachments to these people. You would like them to remain Ravens the rest of the career. It's not always like that, as we see Geno Stone and and others, you know." Uh, go to different destinations but with justin he said listen when you have somebody like lamar taking up that much cap space you can only get you can only resign the guys that you need to have on your team and and, and mad Buki is one of those guys where you need to have him on your roster you you look at him doubling his sack output you know every year since his rookie season that's insane, you know. And then you're talking about over his first four seasons, he got like 21 and a half sacks, which is the oh, ninth most by interior defensive lineman in this century. This century. So how, how many years is that span? Let's go. 24, 23, 23 seasons. So yeah, man, like 21. You, sacks you're gonna need that in the AFC feet. North. I like that. You you are. You are. I'm just I'm just like I said, it was interior for an interior defensive lineman. Let's go. Not not a, not a TJ Watt, an interior. 
I just heard the numbers and was like, all right, but you're right. You're right. Context. He's on the inside. He said right. 21. He said 21 that? for a career. I was like, what the fuck? What? Please. Let's get him. Let's get him. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited about that because um, I was a little worried. And, the, and, the, and then him not being on the tag opened up some cap space for us. I thought we were going to maybe use it on a running back. Would you guys like Aaron Jones in Baltimore? Because we do need a running back. Y'all need a running back like people need badly. Air. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I'm like Aaron Jones. I mean, he, I mean, he the way he played after coming off the injury last year and, and, and back into the season into the playoffs, he was top five, top ten running back. So if you're gonna play like that in the playoffs, he did. Yeah, it if you're gonna play playoffs. like that, of course. Um, yeah, this guy's like, y'all gonna use him in the playoffs. Yeah, I, I ain't, yeah. We, as, far as, back, yeah as far as running back, yeah. As far as running back and injuries, I, we we that's not we can we can't stay out their position for nothing. So Gus is in LA now. I think the JK relationship is uh, soured with us, and I think he deserves a fresh start. So I'm gonna give y'all three options. You got Aaron Jones, you got Derrick Henry, and you got option C, which is the draft. Um, what would what would you prefer out of those three options? What was option two? Uh, Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry. Okay. I'm Derek gonna take Henry Aaron Jones. Jones. I'm, I'm still gonna take Aaron Jones. Derek Henry, you, I mean, you, in the backfield, yeah. At this point in his career, he's not the Derek Henry of old, and I feel like he back there you, is not gonna be that read option that you think it's gonna be. I just don't think it's it's gonna be that. He's not a read option kind of guy. He's an eye form. Yeah, kind of yeah. And I, and the Ravens don't run a lot of that. You know, that's not that's not really what they do. Um, if we go, if I mean, I guess it would be option C. I, I think get Keaton that's healthy and get and draft somebody, and we'll go. We'll we'll do that. I'm I'm tired of bringing that old ass players. There is the Braylon Allens of the world and the Blake Corms of the world right. that have some high pedigree that we could probably get in the early rounds. Not the first, but definitely the second, third. But me personally, knowing the Ravens and knowing how cheap we like to be, I would, I would probably go Derrick Henry and then and then mix him up with Justice Hill, mix him up with, with Keaton Jeez. Mitchell and see how that looks. Because, no, I haven't seen Derrick Henry in an RPO, but I'd like to. I'd like to see how it look. You know what I mean? Give him a training camp of, of reps and maybe we switch some things up. Because a good coach, what is a good coach? A good coach will adjust his scheme to the to the well, we'll, we'll have one of, we'll have one of those in John Harbaugh. So I mean Derrick <laughs> <laughs> Henry going to Dallas. Derrick Henry going to Dallas. Y'all might as well just drive. Dallas is broke too. Now Derrick Henry would be the most affordable Man. option for them, but they broke. Yeah. Yeah. They broke. Yeah, but I I I do think that they definitely need Tony Pollard went to the Titans. Yeah, Tony, yeah, Tony Pollard went to the uh, Titans. So and they saying he's going to be behind Tajay Spears, which is interesting. He's going back to like the the super backup role that he was behind Zeke. I thought he would be looking to be a starter, but I think he realized who he is as a man. <laughs> as a man, sometimes you just gotta stick to the rivers and lakes you used to. Yeah. It was a flurry, bro, and I, I thought I thought we would be one of those teams we'd be talking about with the running backs, but that makes me think Derek is more of a possibility because because we're not hearing much about his movement and his interest right now, um, and we already tried to trade for him last year. That's what tells me Eric DeCosta might be, you know, trying to see what the market looked like, keeping tabs with him, and then seeing you know what they can do, try to nab him for the lowest price possible, but. Also, another consideration, Aaron Jones, he doesn't require a compensatory pick since he got cut. So you can get him for the, I don't want to say for the low ski, you can get him for an affordable deal and you don't have to give up a draft pick compensation. So, you know how the Ravens like to do. They like to get those players that, that were released. More on the free agency front. Um, anything of importance? Let's see. Geno Stone. I mean, we just talked about Geno Stone, but swear of him since he went signed with a division rival. Yeah. Okay. Yo, y'all didn't have six million dollars for him. I don't. I mean, did we? Did nah, we, need to, did we need to give him six million? We pay Mark. We got Marcus. We don't need to pay another safety that much, buddy. We nah, got Marcus. Marcus, Marcus made his his cap hit. Have you seen Marcus Williams' cap hit? Yeah. We, we don't, don't need, need no that. more cap. I remember safety. when y'all told me he was one of the best safeties in the league, and then he like broke everything on his body and had. <laughs> I was like, damn. I mean, he he is, but he can't stay healthy. He broke everything on his body. Yeah. I don't. Broke everything we on his body. Healthy on our defense. Yeah, I don't know why. No, I, 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 I we don't. don't, don't we don't have. Team. We don't have fits of me dollars for Geno Stone. Absolutely not. We got. We got deeds. Crazy. Get out of here. I just. Well, I was shot that he signed. I'm like, damn. Fit now you're gonna get. Now you're gonna get taken advantage of in Cincinnati. So I ain't worried about that. Hey man, yeah. I, by who? But Nelson Aguilar. By whoever. I'm joking, yo. I love it. I love it. I love it. I just love this shit, yo. I love Nelson this shit. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, because I know you're not sitting here defending Geno Stone. I know you're not doing that. Well, I don't give a damn about Geno Stone. I really, I don't, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Shout out to him for getting his bag, but that was yeah, crazy. yeah. Because what was he was undrafted? Crazy. He was undrafted, right? It was seventh, seventh round. Seventh round. Yo, get your. I'm bag. happy he got paid. I just wish he wasn't with the Bengals. Like that now, Bengals. We, now, we Bengals. now we got to see you twice. Now we got to see you twice a year. You scared? And he was a he was a nice piece to have, like for when the times Marcus nah, Williams nah, did nah, his nah, annual injury. Nah, Keys nah, said know, we got to see like, him twice a year. When you say that, that means you. You are. I'm saying I'm, I'm just, I got really rude against you now. Like you really <laughs> out now. Like you know, if you sign with the Packers, always sign with the goddamn Raiders. Who cares? But bit. you know, now you sign with the Bengals. Now I really, now you really out. I feel like my, I feel like that about Mike Hilton. That's all good. I understand. I've been there. I've been there. Shit happened. Alejandro. Too. I've been there. <laughs> uh, nah, I was happy to see him go. And I was happy that he went to y'all. I was happy. Oh, all right. They getting a hell of a doozy with that one. Oh, hey, y'all, y'all think y'all got one, huh? Yeah, y'all okay. did. Y'all did. Yeah, y'all was the same thing with Kenny. Week one, y'all was like, all right, I'm, out, I'm, I'm off this. I'm off this. Because y'all tried to tell me that that system was going to change him. No, I, 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 I thought The so. North remembers. <laughs> the North remembers. See, I, I, I fess up to my shit, though, Scott. I did. Yo, I came in here. Yo, I showed you the note. The first line. Bad Kenny. Bad Kenny. That nigga wrote that shit last week. Hit the no, date and, 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 I made, and I made sure I had the date on there, too, because I knew, I knew <laughs> one of y'all was going to say that. I knew one of y'all was going to say that. <laughs> I knew it like, nah. Fact check. The nigga's got fact check, Skull. Yeah, nah, it's election nah, year. Yeah. We got fact check. Yo, Skull's a lawyer, yo. It's not about what you know. It's about what you can prove. I do, and I'm, yo, you see how quick I hit you with the, like, nah, I couldn't have talked good about this one. He only completed 10 passes. How? I can't, I can't, I can't lawyer my way out of I said that? Nah, no, nah, hell no. Hell no. Not me. Not me. Um, We're going to go to the first commercial break. Nitty Gritty. Hey, yo, Nitty Gritty Sports Talk is now on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And while you at it, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Name the same across all platforms. Nitty Gritty Sports Talk. Three Ravens and a Steeler. Now let's get back to the show. I'm flipping a bird, a bird is a word. I'm flipping a bird, a bird is a word. I'm flipping that bird, that police and nerds. I think I was at the back. The Cardinal Yankee and Jackson flies a ball to right field. Springer twisting back, looking up. That ball is gone. Waste no time getting Jackson to the green. Holiday. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this shit here. He was looking for that all along. Finally, made it is only one way to start. The weight this on, right? Put the weight it on. That's what I like to see. Oh my <laughs> Come on, yo! Oh, that's his oh my god! Fight, yo, remember how oh skinny my. he was last year? Look at him. He yo, put the, he was in the weight room. Weight on. Bro, do you oh. see that swing? Fully confident. Like, yo, get out of here, bro. Stop playing with me. Why would you? And, and, and ain't that supposed to be? Ain't that? Ain't that's the? Ain't that supposed to be the Blue Jays number one? Ain't that's uh Coochie? What's his name? Yeah, Coochie. Coochie. Yeah, Coochie. Coochie. <laughs> Kamuchi. He hit that shit. He hit that shit. He hit that shit like yeah, man. Kamikaze. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh man. Now the man, adjustments look. this kid made in just a matter of weeks. Bro, yeah, I mean, there's no competition. Yeah. <laughs> how can they keep him off the team, yo? Like seriously, how, how can they? How can, how can they keep him off the team, man? Yeah. Like that's the only reason why we talk about a service. I'm like, how can they keep yo out the lineup? How to keep him off opening the roster? Like he's clearly, like if not the best player besides Gunny, yo, he's right there. Like he's one one a now. Like he's that nice, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yo, that he's, nice, he's bro. like that. And then and it's like. He's not the only one, bro. It's all of our prospects are raking right now, and I don't know why, but maybe they all felt that playoff vibes and, and see what it is out there, and they all coming together at the same time. I mean, Jackson is raking. Colton is raking. Kobe is raking. Colton, man, that's the one. Like, golly, it don't stop. It don't Kyle. stop. Kyle. Yo, and I, Sorry, people people Sorry like Kyle. Kyle. Sorry, Kyle. Kyle. Kyle, too. And that's why Kyle is raking. Because I'm like, Colton got four extra bases <laughs> in spring training alone. Like, yeah, people don't like to pay yeah. a lot of attention to like, uh, like preseason records or spring training records. Like, the fact that they win in these games, nah. the way you win in these games, man. Like, you got you got to put a little, like, they, they clearly are a good team, man. Like, they're a good team. Like, they is th that playoff shit last year is carrying over, and you can tell, like, they they ready, they ready to get the season. I'm ready for the season start. I thought the same exact thing, Keys. I said, I, I know this is this is a uh, spring training, I know mm -hmm. these games don't count, it's how they're winning. 
it's the fact that they expect to win. It's the fact is it's the fact that they go out there and pitch confidently. It's the fact that they go out there and take at bats mm-hmm. confidently. I mean, lefties are hitting lefties. I mean, and these and and they're not players that are playing outside of their bodies. These are top hundred prospects doing this. They're supposed to do this. They're doing what they're supposed to do. That's all we can ask for for prospects. Do what you do. What we project you to do. They're doing exactly that. So you you mean to tell me they just gonna keep getting better? As the season progresses, as they get more experiences, as they see more pitches, they're going to keep getting better. And that's cool. Like to say, when June and July come and the weather get hot and that ball starts flowing, it's a wrap. Like, it's, it's over. It. It's oh, over. Wow. Off the bat and can be Yo, cool. that, swing, wow. that swing by Jackson, that was that was like hitting a jump shot and then and then leaving the follow through. Mm, right? Yeah. That's, like catching, that's like catching the football and doing a, a touchdown dance. Look at that. Look at Bro. that shit. Like, come look on, bro. Look at I'm, that. I'm, 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 yo, I'm he's just, 20 years old, yo. I'm just he's impressed with the, years old. with the with the he really been in the weight room, yo. Like, it's crazy. Like, he's yeah, he's ready. And he's and another thing to too, it 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 is in his DNA. Like, pops was pops was a big dude. Pops like mm-hmm. pop, and it was it was one of them things where because I saw people talking about this on uh, Twitter how you know everybody was hyping up Jackson. It was like, no, we weren't like. I was shocked we didn't take Drew Jones, but we quickly learned. Oh, why? Him. Didn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. All right, all right, Mike, you got it. You got it. He's him. Yeah, he's him. That. Like we was on Monday show. Like, yo, what the hell? Who is this kid? Friday show. Oh, all right, cool. It didn't <laughs> take long. It's, all right, we got you. I don't care if he looks like a little high school girl. He's right, nice. but that's the thing. He was eighteen. Like it, that's 18. what you that's what you look like. Unless unless you fucking Calvin Johnson, that's what you look like when you graduate high school. Like that's Bro, what you're supposed to look like. It's it's the fact that it's not that much later in time now, and he's yeah, doing man. this. Yeah, it man. hasn't been long. Yeah, like that's a major league start. That's a that's an opening day starter that he just hit that grand slam on. Like that, you know that that mad that means something. Man, listen, bro. This 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 not your this not your your, your double A. Second second starter. This is a, that's he's he should be the the Blue Jays number one open day starter, and he's take, he's doing that. So that means a lot. That's a fact. Col- Kobe's playing so well, and he's playing well in the field that they're saying, "Yo, we might have to start him at third base." Yo. Our team is so loaded, we can't even talk about Jordan Westberg, nope. who I, looks I, like I'm the super to. utility guy now. I'm about to. Urias, you're gone. That's who Jordan Westberg is. We yeah, for that, now, that, for that, now anyway. That, but that's who he good. is. That's who he is. He has he has just the same amount of ability on the defensive side with a better bat. Yeah. But yeah. it just so happens that everybody else has a better bat than him right now. Because Mateo, I mean, because you, I'm I'm thinking you have to talk about Heston too, bro. Heston's still hitting. He's he's not playing that well, and he's hitting yeah. too. Right. He's hitting 286. It's just the fact that everybody else is hitting like 333. Like, like um, we talked right. We talked about Colton. Like, you got you got a situation where like I feel like Colton should be starting over Hayes. Like, that's how I feel. Like he should be starting left field over him. Like, I it, mean, it, it's not too far fetched. Yeah, it's not yeah. it's not far fetched where last year also he's had that, you know, he had an all-star now. Colton is which I thought well, he was like going this. to be. I don't think he'll start, but by trade, he's gonna get line, his he will be. And the he thing will is, be because we're gonna trade Austin Hayes. Because we're not gonna pay him. He gonna get he gonna get his at bats just because of yeah. how we platoon and how we match up against starters or whatnot. So he, they're gonna move Colton around. They're gonna move Kyle around. Um, I think I don't know, but I think Heston's gonna be the odd man out yes, right to now. start, yeah. and then he'll be back a, in a couple months or a month. Um, but that's the outfield right there, right? Where does that leave Mateo or McKenna? You talked about Urias, Sco. Um, Westberg looks like he's gonna have to be the utility guy if you're talking about. Mount Castle at first, Jackson at second, Gunner at short, and and Kobe at third. Mm-hmm. These are good problems to have, by the way. I'd love to have. Great you know problem. what I mean? Like, in the back. I mean, the about Kobe Mayo, Mayo, man, he, yeah. he hitting the bat. He hitting the ball in the spring training, bro. He looks 10 like for a 30. Just because he saw everybody else five going doubles. I want. He didn't come up last year, did he? He didn't come up last year, did he? He was the one that didn't come up, right? Mm-hmm. Nope. Yeah, but he was all. He was all. He was. He was the one that was consistently hitting thirty in in the minors. So to see him translate now, and the biggest thing with him was his glove. But they changed his arm angle. They adjusted his the slot. I think they said something about bringing it to like a three quarter angle so that mm-hmm. he's not uh, riding the ball to where it's making it a harder double play. He would throw it kind of in, in the dirt to where the the second, I mean, the shortstop would kind of have to be in a weird little position. 
Yeah. But now they he throws it a little differently so that he's putting the ball in a better place. It was so bad that the infield coach for the Orioles were saying he, he doesn't have a major league glove. But now he's saying differently. Now he's saying I can project him at third base, you know, starting. So yo, and it's and I, that's I'm, one off season too. Right. And I'm gonna keep beating this deal. Like it's so crazy. Y'all talk about all these yo, we never even talk about Allie no more. Like, this is the role I want for Allie. Like, he don't have to be the superstar, yo. Like, I think he's better this way, like being under the radar. He's still gonna be an all-star catcher. He's still gonna get it, you know, potentially be MVP, but this is what we need. Like, we don't talk about Allie, and he's probably still top five on the team. That's it, crazy, it, right? It, it, like that's how how good the how deep yeah, we nice the team team up. Uh, yeah, 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 early, you know how I'm know. thinking. I'm, I'm thinking we could we could really do this. Like not even like mm-hmm. Homer stuff. This is a hyperbole. This, 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 nice. this is this is this is shit. This is I mean, you, you a year event. You a year ahead. You do what you did last year. Now everything's the sky's limit. Now, like you go out, you win a division last year. You were supposed to win that AL East last year. You probably was probably supposed to win it this year or not. hundred games either. Yeah, you probably that, that games. shit was like nah. a three four year arc. You went out and you took that shit, and now you can do whatever you want to do now. You, you go out and get Colby Burns, whatever. You add another start at the deadline to make up for uh the injury to um. I can see Dylan Cease at the deadline that? too. Yeah, like you go out and get another yeah. starter. Depending, you, you're a first place team at the deadline. You go out and another starter. You you can go out and win the World Series, man. It's it's not, you know, you just gotta see how it's the season play with injuries. Baseball fickle like that. Like one injury can ruin everything. Like you know, like so it's like, yo, Sko, um, what's his name? The pitcher. It's not Cade Povich, but the other guy with the his oh, last name starts with an M. Chase McDermott. He looks good. Damn good. Wait, no, he, he, you, where they get him? He, he yeah, they signed him or he, he came he, out? Twins. He came from the okay. Twins. The Twins did. Okay. I, I did. No. I read. I did read an article about yo. I did. He yeah. came. Peep game. Kimbrel, I don't even want to play with him. Yanni, you're the closer. <laughs> McDermott, you're the setup. Don't yeah, even you play don't want to play Kimbrel at all? No. I didn't want to play him when we on, got him. On Kimbrel the last couple. I didn't want to play him when we got him. He's not, he not looking good in the spring? Hell no. Is he already yeah, 25? Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> Is he yeah, already right. he, was bad, he was bad last year with the Phillies, though. He wasn't that good last year right. with the Phillies, even, man. We said that when right. he signed, though. Was, yo, yeah. get him out of here. And what he brings with the stuff that he has, and bringing in Yanni after that, that mix up for he got a batter. Good velocity too. He got good velocity, but he got he 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 can he can take the velocity off. Like he can hit you with a with a with a rising ninety seven fastball, but his breaking stuff is like that. And then when you bring in Yanni, who's bringing gas, let's not play with Kimber. Let's not play. I, 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 how did, how did, did the stance look? How the stance look? No be... how, how's this picture stance look? <laughs> Let's not play with this. <laughs> All right, little motherfucker look like a gargoyle. But, but why, do, why, why, is that his, why is that his stance though? When he thought, I don't understand why is that his stance. When he thought, <laughs> like, 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 a gargoyle is hilarious. I haven't heard he that looks word like a gargoyle, like and years. I don't want to play. I don't want to play around. I don't want to play around. Hey, but you don't, don't need to be, you, I agree because you don't need to be blowing. You, what's the point of blowing games in April when you don't have to? What's the point? Well, you don't like, have to. You don't have to. Build the lead now. Yo, the Yankees coasted two years ago. They was trash second half, but they had it's that. Tampa was about to coast lead. last year if it wasn't for us. Oh, yeah. Well, that was the way they started. Was when, I was about to coast. when you walk down a 20 game lead and they play, and it's crazy. They should have looked at that. They played that series like a playoff series, yo. And that's why the Texas series was so frustrating because I seen y'all in a must win out moment. the break, right? You know, the one out the break, right? Yeah, out the break. yeah. That but they, was, when they, that was and intense, it, yo. And it, <laughs> and it essentially, it essentially ruined the season because you crushed Cano and you crushed Felix because you had to use them every you had day. Had to use them every day. Mm-hmm. But I, I understood it because we we need this league because the wild card was so you ain't you didn't have no room to play. It was either division or. Eh. They went out and got that. So to see how we went out with Texas, it was so frustrating. But that's when I said, "Oh, this team got some balls. This well, team Texas got you." That team. Down a I look at that series is though. Also, Texas was that team. That, they was going to win it regardless. They ain't, I mean, ain't nobody was going to stop them. Yeah, yeah, nobody was going to stop them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every Jordan had it clicking. I mean, Brochy is him. He already came in with three rings. Of all like, this, all that. Of all this. Yeah, they were, they was balling. They were they were yeah they were, yeah they were, yeah. They had too many bats, man. Yeah, it was. But all of that is 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 why we are, we're seeing what we're seeing now, and the fact that these young guns want to be a part of that, the vets got better to stay a part of that. Man, please. Who we open up with? Uh, That's a good, good question. 
I ain't even. I haven't even looked at like, the scouting. You so confident? Friend, you even got look at the scouting. I was about to say the like, cockiness in me, like yo, yeah, who like, cares? yeah, who cares? Like, I mean, roll home. Let's go. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> the My angels, phone. come on, My yo. Let's start oh, yeah, the shit yeah, off yeah, with a sweep. Right. Yeah, let's, let's get start the shit off with a sweep. We we home too. Yeah, and it's the first time we're at home in a couple years too, ain't it? In a minute. In a minute. Oh, yo, let's start the season off with a sweep. Then we play Kansas City. Then we play Milwaukee. Like then we play the yeah. Twins. Then the A's. Yo, stop playing with me, yo. Yeah, we won't play stop no AL East teams. Yo. Like, we, we, no should be, we should be we should 14 be. and 0, yo. Stop playing. <laughs> That'd be wild, yo. <laughs> stop playing. We got Boston in that mix, too. Oh, Boston in that mm-hmm. early season. But Boston, they, they, Boston. they down that best. They, yeah. Gelato done. They done. Yeah. They, they traded Chris Sale. They traded what's name. That. They done. Shit. Cole just, Cole, uh, Gary Cole just had to get some shit MRI. For real? It's lining up. Lining up, mm-hmm. get the lead now. It's lining up. It's like yo, take like advantage it, of these clients. <laughs> yeah, I ain't yeah. gonna even say like first, I don't. Your first nine, the Angels, the Royals, and the Pirates. You you need you need seven out of nine, eight out of nine to start the season. For real, like you got you supposed to dominate those teams. Like your teams, yeah. you supposed to dominate. Yeah. I'm, I'm, oh, one thing I wanted to ask you guys that's kind of uh in this vein, Corbin Burns, right? So he's gonna be the opening day starter. He's had a couple rough outings recently. Or is, is anybody uh, concerned? Do we think he's just working on some pitches, just doing some normal maintenance? Uh, like, what do you guys take the the spring training struggles? Me, I'm not too concerned, but at the same token, the results could could be better. Yeah, I'm, I mean, we're we're seeing again. I mean, he did like I said, he's not like. No type, no Randy Johnson, Kirk, Kirk, shut you down, shut you down. All like you know, he did have his struggles in Milwaukee, but I, he's still like a, above average. He definitely is a day one starter. So we'll see. I ain't gonna take, I ain't gonna put too much stock in it. We'll we'll see. Um, we'll see. But he's gonna give up his hits. He's gonna give, like I said, he's gonna give up his three runs a game. But um, when you need him, I feel like he, he he's gonna show up. I see him working on some stuff, being around a winning environment, coming from a losing environment. You might be pressing, you might be trying to. Even early in the spring, you want to validate being traded for. Like, we coveted him. You want to validate that. I think he might just be doing a little bit too much with, you know, the pitching coach, Adley, getting his ear. Like, yo, chill, yo. You, you. You don't have to do all this extra stuff. Just me and you playing catch, baby. Me and you playing catch. And we got you. Because he ain't getting no run support in Milwaukee. Right? So, yeah, now these don't count. Right, but once you get into the flow of things, where things count, and you sitting in that dugout and you seeing that ball fly, and it's like, yo, I can be comfortable, I can be relaxed. I think he'll show who he is. I'm not, I'm not really worried about it. But my eyes are open because it's this is the year, and I have PTSD from uh, <laughs> a minute. So, because <laughs> if this don't work, we ain't we ain't never doing this again. <laughs> oh, no, that's it. This <laughs> ain't never happening again. We mean, yo, and if another person we fought, Santander, like he's gonna be able to just DH this year. Like he ain't gonna be able to play. He ain't gotta worry about nothing but hitting. Like he's, he's gonna he's, he's, he's gonna be a, he 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 gonna be in right in some some games. But I mean that bat. I don't, I don't know if you can take up. that. I don't know if you can take can't. that that bat out the lineup. Can't. How I feel like if you put Santander at DH, then you can you can start Kyle's in right. You can start Kyle's in right and start Hayes in left. Then you got both could, in the lineup. It, it they got so much flexibility. Yeah. Yeah, it could be mm. one of those situations where like gonna, that's gonna, that's go. definitely gonna be a lineup. Yo, dog, don't even bring a glove. You don't need. It. Don't even bring one. Don't even bring one. Cause even on your on somebody else's day off, like no, nah, no, you no, don't even worry about it. But that bat boy, and I like it for Santander because he was there in the dark ages. Mm-hmm. He was there in the dark ages. They're gonna find My man, ways to get these guys in yeah. the lineup. Yeah, you gonna have to. I will. It's crazy because we, we ain't even like that. <laughs> if any, if anybody can play with a lineup, yeah, anybody we, can play with a lineup. But we was ready for how to go two years ago. Like, we was like, this shit ain't working. <laughs> These lineups is crazy. Them Sunday lineups was crazy last year, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm so. That's what I'm so excited about. Like the punt lineups are actually going to be nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, like oh you, shit, you talking about our best players? <laughs> oh, like yeah, yeah, that's 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 a big that's a big yeah. We was like, yo, why the hell is your rise in second? Now is yo why join Westbergs like saying all right yep. Colton Cows Colton, Colton Cows in line Colton Cows is the center good yeah, yeah. Colton Cows is the no center in Cleveland. Yeah, no problem it's cool matter of fact Sadra take excited. your time I can't wait I'm I can't excited. wait uh hey. before we before we off the top any Grayson he gotta be yo, he gotta be more efficient yo 
You talk about somebody that I'm worried about only because I've seen this. Yo, he has to get out of these innings, yo. He but has that's the same thing. That's the same problem he had. The stuff is great, yeah. yo. He just be having them long ass innings, man. Yo, he'll be, he'll he'll be giving... at 45 pitches at the end of the second inning. Yeah, yo. And it's that's, you can't point. do that. You can't do that, man. And he's getting out of it. He's getting out because we got, you know, we got gloves behind him. But yo, as the second starter, I can't have you performing like Dean Kramer. Like I, I'll, I'll take that from Dean Kramer. I'll take that. Dean Kramer gives up eleven hits, but two earned runs. All right, cool. I'll, I'll take Whatever. Five, five I'll innings. Take five like, we innings. can't. We, we can't tax the bullpen again either because we don't. Nah, we're not as deep as we were last year. We weren't say, that deep last year. Who's even in it? Like <laughs> we. I, <laughs> like all right, like ball, uh, Bauman. Bauman's playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's been pitching good this this spring and. I like Bauman last year. Tyler Wells out of the bullpen, potentially a swing mm-hmm. starter. Like we got some arms that you know I I trust. I don't even bit. want Tyler in that situation, bro, because I need but him I as a starter. I don't. So Grayson, do your job. I got I got more, I got more grace. I got more grace for, for Corbin than I do for Grayson. Because this has been a thing. Like we sent you down to fix this. And, and I don't know how many more options bit. he got. Yeah, and I don't know how many more options he got, but it's gonna be a bad look. You day two starter getting sit down. So fix it. Fix it, buddy. Yeah. Please. Yo, we had a brawl with the women. We had a brawl. It was a it was a fight in the game. Then it was a real fight. <laughs> yeah, you know what's so funny? I went on. I was you know I was on ESPN just looking at the college scores, and I was like, I was I was watching the game and nothing like that. And I went on that shit. That shit said delayed. I was like, they ain't there fighting probably. And it's crazy. Once I no. found out they was really fucking fighting, I was like, this is no. crazy. Like <laughs> I was watching it live. I was watching it live. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, I was watching it live, and it was a build up. Like they was physical the whole game. They was talking the whole game. They was talking both sides. Cordoso, Angel, like, they was talking shit. You could tell. And them refs was, I'm going to say they were bad because they didn't ring it in early. They didn't nip it in. They was letting them play. Then they'll call a ticky tack. And then they wasn't consistent. So you could tell something was going to happen. And when Shorty flexed on Flo J, and I'm not mad at Flo J, don't flex in my face, yo. Stop. So she gave a little shove, and Andre the Giant came out the fucking entrance <laughs> and said, "Get out the club, nigga!" Boom. That was I'm that like, yo, you know, right she's, you know she's feeling herself after she hit that shot, though. Like, yeah, you know, she's feeling herself. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. for sure. I like when Uncle Phil used to throw. Uh, the <laughs> what? Jazzy Jeff. Yeah. yeah. You, see, you, what? you heard? You, y'all read the guy, the girl brother got locked up because he jumped on the court. He got yeah, yeah, yeah. He came out on the court. He's gonna get a little fine, a little power. Yeah, it's a little. Not, not I'm surprised bad. they got him for the assault and battery. I knew he was gonna get the wait. They charged him with assault and battery. Yes. Yes. Well, it's, it's because of the SEC employee who hit. Yeah, he said he, he jumped, jumped on her shoulders. Right. That's South Carolina. That's South. That's South Carolina. It was. It had nothing to do with the South Carolina. It was SEC employee. Okay. Yo, gotta yeah. get a lawyer. That's crazy. Yeah. Like we could have solved this with a fine and don't come back to the game. Easy. Like, like niggas press easy. charges. Yeah, easy. But but I'm, now I'm you said that was it. Nah, now you nah, was nah, like, I'm I mean, I, I I know where everybody loves the Keaton Clark story, but this I gotta see this again in that championship. Like, this is what I gotta see again now. Yeah, like, we, we we need to rematch. <laughs> one of the best tweets Jamel Hill has ever tweeted was do you want to see one of these teams against Caitlin Clark, or do you want to see these two teams again? And why, my why answer is, is why is Caitlin Clark even how, how, how do we know she's gonna make it? Like, I hate Jamel Hill, but keep going. She might struggle with yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, What the fuck? Yeah, like, like, what does she got to do anything? Like, yeah. why are you trying to make this a thing? Like, yeah, she might be Steph at Davidson. Like, all right, cool. You nice, but care about them other people around you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I definitely want to see this again. Oh, yeah. We need to see the rematch. I definitely want to see this again. No, I would yeah. know it was a good game. I mean, it was. It was a good great game. game. Um, good physical game. Yeah, two Stuff high that, level teams. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was good to see. It's good to see because I'm not gonna sit here and act like I'm the biggest women's basketball watcher. But hey, if they play like that, no, nah, I watch. I, I watch yeah. women's college basketball just because. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know the difference between that and the WNBA as far as why I gravitate more to the college game with that. And I watch women's basketball, college basketball more than I do men's. Right. Like I don't know why that is either, but I just feel like it's more pure. I feel like. Yeah. You know, it's it's more passion. Uh, it's it, they care more. They they compete harder. Not saying that they don't compete in the other situations. It's just what I'm observing. Like this South Carolina team, man, they've been kind of like the the bullies on the block, kind of. Mm. So and you get undefeated. Hell and you yeah. and you knew LSU wasn't going back down just because they got some people with that background. You know, just far as life is concerned. 
But at the same token, I mean, those are some big girls from South Carolina, boy. I don't know. I, don't know. I mean, I feel you on that, but these damn car returns have been crazy. These, 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 these you, it's gonna be a great, it's gonna be a great in state tournament. Yo. These, these men's college basketball conference tournaments been wild. Like, I'm about tossing up by seven now, and it's in the CA semis against College of Charleston, four minutes left. This shit crazy. <laughs> it's, it's wild. It's on TV, <laughs> it's on CB, CBS Network. Yeah, CBS I'm Network. I'm telling you now, <laughs> when Flo J's brother hit that court and say, Oh, <laughs> she, she's a real six. Oh, he changed it to. Yo, just leave my sister alone, yo. Just leave her alone. Uh, he, he thought about it. He was like, he thought about it real quick. Yeah, like six, eight, or, six, eight, six, five, eight. If I decorate, if I decorate, I'm wrong. Decker, I'm wrong. She's <laughs> a woman. Know, the height didn't matter. He he, he, he smartened up. Right. He's gonna take that little assault charge and get a good lawyer to, to get make that go away. But if he mm. would have hit her, yeah, oh, that's that's a lawsuit. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> so he he probably yeah. I mean he probably six eight Dominican. Stopped. He shouldn't have no. jumped on that court, but it's like no, no, no. It, it, it his his got thrown his, right in front of him. This thing snapped in like she just didn't get pushed. Like she got mauled. <laughs> this that's, wasn't that's, a regular... that's a middle school house. Like, you just say that yeah, the whole time. Nah. Like, you, you know, yeah. like, it's just to get to a fight. You jump it in it. Like you got to. You got to. Um, how did y'all feel about um LSU's coach comments after the game? I saw a lot of discourse around that, saying that I wish it was Angel. Pushed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look at the size difference. That's how I took that. Yo, Nick, that's how I looked at it. Like, I'm not you because of the, the little man. kid. Y'all. You reach you much yeah. Much, man. Like, I, like, everybody knew what she meant. Like, you, I knew you what pick, she meant. Pick on somebody your own size. Like, that's, what, that's exactly what she meant. Oh, they tried to make that to something else? Yeah. yeah. They tried to make I mean, it well, to because how, of what Don said. I mean, how Angel, well, that too, and how Angel is already viewed by the masses. She I mean, shouldn't have put her in that light. But, Flo J is what five ten at least. Angel is six three. I didn't take it like that. I just took it as yo pick on somebody you own. Side. We complain that's about the dumbest thing. I mean, I just took it as two teams as rivals. Yeah, like it, I hate it. I hate, I hate it here. When I'm undefeated, when I'm defending national champion, like yeah, let's go. And like, I get it. Kim Moki, <laughs> Kim Kim Moki has a you know she she has one of them reputations where it's easy to take what they say and flip it into some January six shit. But that nah. Pick on somebody it, on size. Women come. I mean, that's close to come to that's play knowing, for though. Yeah. yeah, that's knowing that you might play this team again in three weeks. So it, yeah, it, yeah, it ain't yeah. gonna be ain't nothing sweet yeah. right now. Yeah, we putting it and, out there that we yeah, and you scared. seven foot picking on the shortest player on our team. Right. Pick on somebody your own size. I seven wish foot. she would have tried Angel like that because Angel's looking for a reason. That's what she said. That's not racist because mm -hmm. I say the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out PVL. Let's see him on the yeah, TV. Man. Like, stop, man. And what did stop. Angel say when she got on the podium? We are not scared of it. Yeah, Let me scared. repeat. We are not yeah. scared of it. Like, I mean, did y'all see? Y'all heard what Alexis Morris said though? Who was on their team last year? Uh, she, she, said they, she said she they were scared of. She, she wasn't. Hating. No, it was hate. She hating because she mad because Angel making more money than her, and I'm she and like, she, she, she I ain't like that. I ain't like that. At you mad? You you mad because Angel's nil deal is making her a multimillionaire? Yeah, man, that's crazy. Good game, though. Can't wait to see it again. Um, y'all, y'all got anything in the association that y'all want to talk? I think that was about? good leadership too, not John. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody yeah. got suspended. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, they're gonna win their first round matchups, but they're gonna be bare. Both teams, both teams yeah, gonna I mean, be bare. <laughs> yeah, and then if, if you look at the video afterwards, Angel and Flo J, they had that little moment. They together, they chest to chest. Angel kind of talking, bigging up a little bit, leading. I mean, it ain't on Angel to run to that. That power as a leader, like she said, she just sprained her ankle. She need to go get some medical treatment while they got some downtime. So and why suspend them anyway? Like that's like they, it's, I mean, like it's, said, bad, it's, I it's bad enough that happened and, and yeah, they like, let's go, I mean, the only person suspended though is the is the girl from South Carolina, the one who oh, went, right. the, okay. Yeah, she oh, don't so only because of the fighting because she yeah, because fight. of the fight. Yeah, the rest of them are eligible to be uh, available. Right, that's good. Cause yeah. I mean, you you heard of Keith live? They was acting like that shit was. Yeah, they was, and then they came back and corrected <laughs> it with like a minute. They corrected it with like a minute left in the game. Yeah, they was saying what? Like it's not that bad. No, nah, nah, saying that like... only the big girl, the, that uh -huh. only the girl from South Carolina is uh can't play in the first round of the tournament. Yeah, so, cause initially they was like, "Yo, it was five on five. Everybody is out. Everybody is suspended." Yeah. I was they like, made it seem like South Carolina got to play with six people. LSU. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. It was it was it was crazy. It's crazy. Salute to them. Salute to them. Association talk before we get out of here. Yeah, quickly. Uh, Lakers on a roll last week. They're playing. I was about to say they playing well, right? Playing well. We'll see how long it lasts. I'm out west. Um, 
who did they who did they play last night? Uh, Anthony Temple. Edwards, Anthony yeah, Edwards without Gobert and Cat and a couple <laughs> other people. So okay. Yo, did you see? Did you see that almost poster on AD yeah, by Ant? Yeah. Oh my yeah. god! <laughs> did you see him complain about the rest after the game? I mean, the Lakers have been leading the league in free throws for the whole season. That ain't nothing there. They trying to get us in the playoffs. No, I, I hear you on that, but he'll he's that's not the first time he's compl- he, he's complained about it. The week earlier, yeah. he, oh, every cool. time he loses, oh, and and yeah. so you saying he a crybaby? It's looking like it. Oh, he maybe, maybe he thinks he's, he's, well, he's a very talented he's a crybaby. <laughs> he's a star, but maybe he wants you know he wants some superstar calls. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Tell some he, I mean, sometimes you lose, you just lose, you just lost the game, bro. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, that's a that was a big game last night because now the Nuggets are the second seed, and I think they're a full game behind OKC for the first. And you know mm-hmm. that's what they're gunning for. Lakers are like I said, we we see the Lakers making a surge. We'll see how if that can get them out the play in situation. I doubt it, but it's all about confidence with the Lakers and momentum. <laughs> and I think they're uh, getting healthy. Um, game back at Dallas now. Game back at Dallas. What is this for? Eighth? Two games back of Phoenix, the six seed. Yeah, Dallas, the eight seed. Phoenix. Oh, so who's seventh now? Sacramento. Ah, okay. So it's so close down there. So we a game and a half back of Sacramento. Yeah, I think the Lakers, if they, uh, even if they stay where they are, right, seed wise, you play Golden State. That's going to be an awesome game um, to get to the to the the next round of the play-in, and then you're talking about the, the loser of Dallas, Sacramento, or Dallas, uh, Suns. It's going to be a hard test, but, I mean, those are – I mean, the Lakers, I think, can win – beat anybody. Do I think they can win a championship? Hell no. But – Anybody but them. One game or a, a seven-game series versus a young team. I, I think they got that for sure. Um, but you know the West is the West, though it's gonna be a it's gonna be a tough battle. Whoever you play, whether you're the first seed or the tenth seed, it don't really matter. Yeah, so Celtics, um, they've looked good. Kind of weird that Jalen Brown has been taking like last week or week and a half. He's been taking like the the front man role. I don't know if if, if that's the game plan or if teams are kind of forcing that on them and saying we'll we'll live with with Jalen trying to beat us. And to try to take Jason out the game, but you know, regardless of that, I mean, they've been they've been pretty consistent, and they've been winning yeah. b- b- basketball games. Yeah, no, that um, Suns game was good Saturday night. That was a great. That was game. Real good game. KD put a show on. Yeah, dropped that forty five. Yeah, but that was an interesting game too because it was like it was a departure from what they usually do with KD. Usually, they send two, three people to KD and and try to uh, fluster him that way. This game, they was like. You know what? We're gonna let you shoot them middies. Yeah. You like you like those long twos? Say less. We're gonna shut Grayson Allen. Yeah, none of uh, that. Uh, who else? Royce O'Neal. Yeah, none of that. Yeah. Bradley <laughs> Bill. Bradley, Bradley Bill. Bill. None of that. None of I that. mean, he had what twenty five on twenty shots. They'll take that. Yeah, They'll all take day. that, all day. And then everybody else was. I mean, there's there's no need to mention them. <laughs> who else? Who else was on the Suns that did anything that night? So if that's gonna be how they attack the Suns, now mind you, they with no Booker, it kind of it's kind of easy to do that. But even then, it's like if I can guard Booker and KD straight up, I'm literally gonna sell out to stop everybody else. Nobody else is gonna score, and I don't think those two are able. Do you, how, how what what do you guys see the the ceiling for the Suns? Do you think second, they are a championship second, second team? Second round. Second round. I can see them. They, gonna, they, they, they can win. They can win one round, but they are gonna get knocked down. I mean, I just don't, don't, don't like the depth. Enough. I don't like the depth. Yeah, they, they, they don't got enough. They don't, yeah, exactly. Yeah. They don't got enough. They have been, they, they have no bench. Literally no bench. Like if you gotta rely on Eric Gordon to turn back the hands at the time. Yeah, it's tough. Bo Bo, I've been hard on him, but he's been hooping, and we talking about the bar, right? We talking about the bar. He should be one of the first people off. Off of that bench, because who else should he be sitting under? He should be at twenty-five to thirty minutes a game at this point, because it's like you don't got nobody else. Right. He gives it's you so size wild. and versatility. It's so wild that we, you know, we was on not you so much, Nick, but all of us was on DeAndre Eaton. That this is what that team need. They needed DeAndre Eaton right now. Like they need somebody to eat them minutes and you get get that clog up the paint. They had they they really don't got no one to nurture. Is not he not he he's not the same player it used to be. Like he's not gonna be able to defend nobody. Defend no center. Think I bomb. That's what I'm saying. Like he's not—he's not gonna be able to do. Yeah, he just get a bunch of rebounds. 
Yeah. But yeah. actually, playoff Nurkic, playoff yeah. Nurkic, that's a different story, bro. He is not that. <laughs> playoff Nurkic, yeah. Ask Dane, yeah. Ask Dane, he knows, yeah. yeah. He knows, <laughs> yeah. He knows. A- anybody in the Eastern Conference, y'all got y'all eye on? Um, Milwaukee's playing better after that, you know, getting adjusted to having Doc, Doc as their coach, but they, they, they've been playing better. And that shit is it. no. It's I mean, let's and let's eat and be come back. That shit is. It's, 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 I was about to say. It's, 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 it's Boston Conference to lose at this yeah, point. Like it, it's Boston yes. Conference to lose. You can you know stay away from that pesky Heat and Jimmy Butler. <laughs> <laughs> you know they they making their run, but yeah, it's Boston's to lose. To be honest with you, I hate to bring it back to the Lakers, but if they can avoid the Nuggets, and if the Nuggets get the one seed, and they can avoid the Nuggets, and you looking at. OKC or Minnesota. Who's the fourth seed, Keith? Right now. What in the West? Yeah. The Clippers, Clippers right? Yeah, Clippers. Uh, uh, I don't know about the Clippers. Uh, um there's some good matchups. The, the, the Lakers could the Lakers good. could get back to the Western Conference Finals if they I are. I mean, healthy. if you get if you get caught, if, if I mean if they could get up to that seven, if they could clinch that seven, I think and, and avoid Denver, maybe get OKC a young team, then you get the winner like Timberwolves, Pelicans and Suns. In yeah. the second round, that's the that's the type of route they need. Yeah, they can't see Denver in the second round. They going home. We didn't, we didn't, we didn't see that. But Denver just, I don't know what it is about Denver and the matchup. They got think, big versus big. But AD turned to AD turned too small when he played Joker. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, yeah. That's what it boiled down to. I I, I do think I, I I do like and then. We would be wrong if we didn't mention D'Angelo Russell, right? That he's boy, he he hoping. deserves a shout out, yo. He's open. He's open, bro. And um, last year he had some playoff struggles. This season he has some early season struggles, but he stayed with it. And then I'll give a compliment to LeBron. LeBron's been feeding, and this was, LeBron has done this for twenty one years, but he's feeding confidence into him, yo. You know, there's been times where. Uh, D Lo would try to defer and pass it back to LeBron. LeBron would get the ball, look at him, look like, at him, like, yeah, the, like shoot the ball, shoot. yeah, and then he shoots it and makes it, which is why he had the confidence to do that. Like, call for multiple screens that other, that other night on that game winner. Like, he did not get a ball up, he called for multiple screens. LeBron told him to take the shot. I want this screen that don't work. I want this screen, and he just kept going until he, you know, it, so yeah, to your point, it, 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 I, I know it's get, I know it's getting late, and y'all want to get out of here, but that, um. Right. That Milwaukee Lakers game, I had money on that game. I, I listen, I'm being truthful. I had the Bucks winning, right? I had a nice little 11, 11 leg parlay. Everything hit except for Milwaukee winning, right? So <laughs> they were up five. I'm with like with like less than a minute thirty seconds left. I'm like, oh, two possessions. We we feeling good, baby. No no LeBron playing. I don't think LeBron played that game. So he, I'm like, oh shit, we Gucci, man. Dame Lillard, what's up with you, dog? What's up? I mean, D'Lo was going to work. And I'm talking about there was a three-point play where Dame tried to take a weak-ass charge, didn't get the charge, and it was a and it was an and one. That was the game right there, bro. Mm-hmm. And then you then you letting yo get to his floater on the on the left side. You let him get to his floater for the game winning shot. Like yo, D'Lo, that's what he does is floaters. Floaters yeah. and three pointers. That's his game. That's his bag. Dame, yo, Dame. I don't I don't know about Dame and playing championship basketball. I just don't. Because he single-handedly lost them the game. Single-handedly. And then on offense, getting his shot blocked, um, just not being a just not being the closer you would come to expect. So it's gonna be interesting. You will see if Giannis starts to blame him in the offseason. They're already planting them seeds. When I start hearing, yo, I'm lonely, I'm bored, I'm only oh, okay. Who said that? Dang. Dang. When I he's setting the seeds already for when the failure. Does he want to be in Miami? He said, I told you I wanted to be in Miami now. Basically, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. I don't want to fucking be here. I'm not happy. So whatever you get is what you get. That's true. We're going to go to the last commercial break and wrap up. Nitty gritty. Brand activations, business openings, recently engaged or any new life event that deserves a celebration. Start planning with Penn Jones events. Owner and principal planner Paige guarantees a fun and stress-free planning experience. Managing every event aspect, including budgets, timelines, vendor negotiations, event design, and more. Penn Jones Events is a full service wedding and event planning company based in Maryland. We curate extraordinary events tailored to you. Let's start planning today. 
for a free 30 minute consultation, visit ppjevents.com. Good show, fellas. Good show. Good show. Yeah, for sure. Yo, so Yo, y'all two got to start. Y'all got to uh, think up, cook up some shit for the uh, NCAA tournament because that shit, that shit about to be here now, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah. yeah, so y'all figure out how y'all wanna y'all wanna do that shit because that's gonna be interesting. Yeah, ACC yeah. tournament in DC. Damn, for real? Yeah, Hell yeah, this weekend. I miss being in ACC. Hopefully, we get a Duke North Carolina rematch in the championship. Hey, Jay Billis, where you at, Cuz? Where you at? I don't, I don't hear no talking. I don't hear no talking about people throwing stuff at folk. Right, that shit was wild, right? That shit was wild. Uh, where you at? It definitely was throwing that water on him. Where you at? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't not about Philip Kout. You ain't not about Philip Kowski. Uh, tripping, yo. Nope. It tripping. Well, they they shot shoot under the rug. The D players going to do, yo. That's D players going to do. Yeah, that's what they do, especially the white ones. When I saw that, I thought about keys. I was like, yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. They get the right kind there, and it's like, yo, why? Do y'all, Yo, like, Cooper, I just hope Cooper flags stay away from all of that next year. Like, just go there, play basketball. Don't buy into these low annex that beach at home. Typical girl. Duke player has. Yeah, right, like, right, right. Be, be the look outlier. It, look at be, be the other. Be us. Yeah. So, so we can <laughs> claim it. Gotta be, gotta be nice first, and then yeah. yeah. It's gotta, it's gotta but you got a hell of a class coming in though. Like, they, yo, that big African dude, seven two. They got four or five stars and one four star coming in next year. This shit crazy. The hell? <laughs> I actually, I actually crazy. got a chance to watch one of their recruits a couple weeks ago go to go to Paul to six. Um, they got a wing who going to Duke about six five six six. He can shoot lights out. They also got a big from the same school. They both going to Duke. Um, that may be the African boy you talking about. He was injured though, but um, oh okay, Duke I got his highlights. I, I out there recruiting, boy. He got a hell of a class coming in. Yo, what's the yeah, what's the, what's Coach K's success name? Shy, John Shy, John Shy, John Shy, yeah, John Shy. Yeah, yeah, Coach K had had him like this, but I don't know if he was recruiting like this. I'll tell you one thing: I don't know if he was recruiting like this. He stayed away from these kind until late, until Until late, late. until Until late. I mean, Kyrie was like his first one. Yeah, Yeah, Kyrie was the first one. Then you started the Zion, the Austin Rivers. Yeah, you you can't really do nothing else now. It was it got to the point where he had to get down and lay down. Well, I mean, I, I know we kind of running out of time, but I'm not sure if y'all seen that uh, that NIL tournament that's going to take place next year in Vegas. But it'll be – it's right oh, now – they playing for money. Big, yeah, they playing for money. So it'll be eight teams that will make the tournament. Each team gets a million for going, and then they the winning the team splits the million amongst the players and all of that. So, I mean, will it make the, – the ultimate thing, will it make the NCAA tournament now like null and void eventually? Like – Cause now we really getting some, we getting some paper. Uh, no, that's so the new NCAA tournament. Yeah, that's yeah, the eighteen year old. That's, that's, that's the eighteen year These kids that's not going to. College. This is March Madness, and when, whenever month we doing it. But yeah, yeah, we we hooping now. Cause we talking about college kids now. Yeah, obviously college got kids, NIL, yeah. NIL, but not everybody got an NIL. That's the good thing about what they're doing is like, if you make that tournament, you get a piece of the share, and if you win, you get a separate piece of a, a different yeah. share. Yeah, so everybody gets some love. Everybody gets mm-hmm. some love. I like that. I like that. It, was and it ain't your great. typical power teams you've seen. Like they had FH, FAU and talks, which I mean, oh. they've been the top team in the last few years, but it ain't just your Duke, North Carolina's. Like they they looking at the really teams that's in the top right now. Who, who's really a 18, top team? 18 split a million dollars. I, I'm not about to do the math, but even if you can say, hey, man, we'll give you 30 racks, 40 racks, 50 racks. You're talking about well, somebody some at, F- kid? at FAU? Oh, we tricking, baby. Sign me FAU, up. we going to the club, baby. <laughs> Sign me up. Freaknik that's what you down in Southern Florida or Northern. Florida Atlantic is near Orlando, I believe. Oh, so well, guess what? Okay. I'm gonna find my way to the beach if I win. I'm gonna find my way to the beach. Beach is better, and I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave with <laughs> just something. go to City Walk at Universal Studios. <laughs> and I'm gonna leave with something. <laughs> you be, you'd be sure. good <laughs> for sure. It was always great to have football energy in March. Midseason yeah, forms, though. I like it's great. Yo, stay ready. You ain't got to get ready. <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. We ain't gone two hours in a long time. Yeah, yeah. man. No, I was Appreciate wrong. That's Florida Lang is in Boca Raton. That's just that. that oh, so that's uh, like that's on Miami. Florida. Yeah, that's probably well, uh, that's that's Lamar right. territory. Oh, even well, better. Why would they even better. <laughs> why would even they better. Oh, you even can get. Better. Oh, where them city girls at? 
Fort Lauderdale, uh, shorty Carisha, Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Cause she too messy. <laughs> yeah, man. Fort Lauderdale. Don't sleep on Fort Lauderdale now. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> out there in August. We're gonna see what the vibes is, man. Are you gonna be in Fort Lauderdale? Yeah. All oh, right, that's what's up. God man, bless. Put the shades on. God bless. God bless. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate everybody that listens live. <laughs> everybody that checks out the podcast. If you view us on YouTube. Keep liking, rating, and subscribing. We'll be back on Friday. Same place, same time. I promise I won't scream my internet loose. <laughs> Jerry Judy. <laughs> Jerry fucking. No, he, he got some nerve. No, he did I'm about, not. I'm about to cut that up. <laughs> nah, you, yo, new, you gonna have Jerry got, Judy family fucking with me. Nah, 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 don't do that. <laughs> you got new arch nemesis now, Sco. Jerry Judy, yeah. your new arch nemesis now. Nah, it needs to be Steve Smith. Steve Smith, Steve Smith, right? Steve Smith yeah. see what I see. <laughs> It should be Steve Smith, but he going to come at me because I ain't nobody ever seen me knock a nigga out. So he's going to be scared of Steve Smith. But all right, Jerry, Judy, you in the north now. We going to see. We going to see. Wide receiver three. Uh, same place, same time. Everybody stay safe and be blessed. We out. Mm-hmm.